Yeah. But like, all right. We're I, I, I think I think you don't always appreciate how fast time can go by, especially when you're working on something. That is true. And that two is projects true. at once as well, having to work on the on sci-fi underwater city while also working on Mallard and trying to make sure that's historically accurate and having to go back and forth on that. Like the, the most of the front body is finished, which yeah. is fantastic. Do you want to show um, it? Uh, like, sure. Like, do you want to show your project? Yeah. I mean, I was thinking of playing uh, Arkham Knight, but you know, well, I guess I guess we can show the uh, progress. Okay. I mean, I get it. Like, I, I, when I worked to... as a psych to go animator and I just had two weeks for like, you know, like a, a little animated video. I was like, oh gosh, where did that, where did that time go? One sec. I've got my student email open in the background. I don't want to dox myself and <laughs> there we go. Lord Apex says, happy birthday, shiny. I got your birthday. I forgot our birthdays are so close together. Mine was yesterday. Oh, nice. double birthday. My, my birthday is on the 5th, but I'm going to be away from my computer f um, for a while, so I won't be able to do a stream on Friday, so we're doing it early. So we it's early birthday eve, because birthday eve is tomorrow, and uh, yeah, that works birthday for me. Birthday eve. Birthday eve. Holy, holy cow, I just realized, three years ago, on your birthday was exactly when we started talking. Well, when we started talking consistently, I suppose. Yeah, consistently. It's It started with your birthday three years ago. Crazy. Anyway, here is... Well, let me close the outliner and we'll close the modeling toolkit. And this is Mallard. Mm-hmm. All the right, it runs and everything. What the fuck's the hair got in my mouth? What the fuck? <laughs> a hair? Oh, oh, fuck, I need to stream my... Who have you uh, been macking on, Shiny? Well... Is it your own hair? Yeah, it's, well, I assume it's my own hair. <laughs> it's short, it's not long. I would hope it's your own hair. <laughs> <laughs> Where the fuck are you going with this? <laughs> mm, the hair. Well, you know how it's like a cliche in like movies and TV, how it's like, oh, the girlfriend or oh, the wife oh, like, uh, find a hair. Or like lipstick somewhere. Or perfume. I'm going to put it in live streams at notification platoon. And I'll put it on Twitter. You seen the uh, argument? I keep getting into TK and Sammy over my uh, my armor. <laughs> they the really. Armor put, I don't get it. I don't get why. I'll say streaming with eerie ghosts. Lord Apex, like the Incredibles, exactly, exactly. Because Helen Is found uh, a, a little, a little gray hair, or like a, like a, like a. What was she blonde? Was she like a bleach blonde? She was uh, young. She was, she was sort of like a silver blonde, weirdly. Yeah, like a silver, like anime blonde. I don't know why there's so many silver-haired characters in anime, though. I can't even remember her name. I mean, oh, wasn't it Mirage? Mirage. That's it. I would totally with Mirage. <laughs> uh huh. Hmm, feminine with brown skin. Mm hmm. Yes, I see. Wait, is she, does she have brown skin? Fuck. <laughs> yes, she I never, does. I'm not getting away. You are not. From these shit. You are not beating these allegations. It's not feminine a race brown fetish. woman. <laughs> feminine you brown just, woman. You, and, you keep exposing me like this. White woman. Huh? You keep exposing me like this. <laughs> I just keep finding a pattern. <laughs> the pot it's a pattern. It's a pattern. So if every time I mention any character that I'm attracted to, you always point this out. You always call me out like this. <laughs> On stream. <laughs> I can't just casually have a crush on a character without you going, ha! Race fetish. <laughs> well, it's, a, it's an archetype. It's it's just a pattern. It's a pa it's a pattern. It's a pattern. Just like I also have a pattern. 
that you could say out loud. Well, that you, you, you want, keep being attracted to two, was it British white men that happen to look like me and sometimes have glasses? <laughs> no, it's not just that. It's not just British. It's it's white guy, tall white guy with glasses and also pretty autistic. I don't know why it keeps happening. <laughs> I don't know why this keeps happening. <laughs> You know, kind of aloof, you know, very intellectual, you know. I like that. I, I still it think it's happening. funny that, that you're not into your own race like I am. <laughs> I, I at least oh, have tom, tomboy girls that I'm into. I mean, I have a reason why I'm not into Hispanics, why I'm not into Latino men. Because, you know, in, in America, we live in a melting pot. You know, we got races all over the place. The only other time where I see people of my own race is usually within my own family. So whenever I see another Latino, I think there's this little bug in the back of my brain that tells me, am I sure this is not my cousin? <laughs> and it weirds me out every time. So what you're really saying is that all Latino people look the same to you. <laughs> I get similar vibes. I get, I get primo vibes. I get tios vibes. Interesting. Could be my tío. A tío means uncle in Spanish. Okay. All right. Well, I guess we'll move on to uh, move on to <laughs> the uh, laughing cavalier know. says, "Miss Obama, I've done it. I've stopped racism." <laughs> oh. uh, damn it! You just reminded me of the Miss Obama. Get down. <laughs> Fuck me, that was an, that's an old meme. Uh, gosh. <laughs> what is Obama's last name? Osama. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. Obama, Osama. Well, Obama, I don't Bin know. Laden. Why do people get like the two names mixed? It's weird. Osama Bin Laden and Obama. They're they're similar enough. They're just one letter off. It's kind of like they're, they're not uh, like one letter, letter off, huh? They're not like one letter off. There's a B and then there's an <laughs> S. Osama, Obama, <laughs> Obama bin Laden, and Barack Osama. The best OTP, <laughs> the power couple. <laughs> I ship it. <laughs> that is like taking us back into the 2010s. That is, yeah, that's a what long. A, what a weird time. time to be alive. I wasn't even on the internet in the 2010s, dude. When you live in a when you live in a conservative Catholic household, they're just like, listen, you could only play Dora the Explorer, Flash games. Okay? All I remember is the thanks Obama meme, like like. Thanks that Obama, that, yeah. That, that, that and Obamacare, like that. That was a meme for a while. Obamacare. Yeah, what was that? Yeah, Obamacare sounds hilarious, but Obamacare was a real thing, and it actually made things a lot worse. Thanks, Obama. Now, now we're getting political. Now we're getting real political. <laughs> 2010s political. <laughs> What's your we, favorite? We, we try nationalizing political. healthcare, but go so middle of the road, we make it, it's the worst of both worlds combined. <laughs> Did you have you ever heard the conspiracy theory that uh, Michelle Obama is actually a trans woman and like Obama is actually gay and he's actually a Muslim because his his middle name is Hussein? Oh, yes, yes, gay Muslim, gay Muslim. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds halal to me. Two, two things that go famously well together. <laughs> going to say something dark but i'm not going to say it i was going to say they go famously get well off canceled. the building off the 911 buildings together jumping off the net okay that that i'm i'm picking at straws now what's your favorite 2010 political take chat we'd love to hear it cuz we are not you just made this so fucking awkward <laughs> Congratulations on that one. <laughs> I'm like, really you good at managed to dig this hole yourself. Yes, I did. I certainly did. <laughs> Single-handedly, that's very impressive. Yeah. 
Oh yeah, there was also the conspiracy that Obama was going to be the that Obama was the Antichrist. That I have no idea guy. about that one until like I thought that was just someone joking no. until you <laughs> told me about it. Yeah. <laughs> I actually had family members that believed that Obama was the Antichrist and that like the end times were coming and then like everyone was like sharing around this clip of Obama whispering something to Putin and then they're like oh they're making negotiations and deals and they're gonna destroy America together because he's actually Muslim and he's his middle name's Hussein and it was <laughs> it was a fucking time dude it was a time oh gosh did Boris was Joe maybe the Antichrist was Boris Johnson this whole time? Boris Johnson wasn't even around in during that time. Oh, he was the mayor of London. When Boris Johnson was the mayor of London, man, that was fucking crazy. He was just that he became really famous for being the political idiot. <laughs> oh, who oh would dear. say silly things. The political idiot, and he was voted to be PM. Well, he was voted by his own party to become Prime Minister. Oh. So it's... Oh, man, it's... Okay, I, I, so it, it works different over here. It, it's... Where... Okay, how do I describe how it works? So you, you, you vote for a party. Those parties then gain seats in... Um, what was it? Uh, parliament. Mm -hmm. And then... Uh, the majority of the party which holds the most seats gets to become prime minister, gets to have a prime minister. And the prime minister is voted on by the parties themselves. Uh -huh. So, like, I, I would have to be a member of the Labour Party to vote on, uh, was it who I want to be the, the leader? Oh, Just like so I'd have you, to be a member of the Conservative like Party. List. It's like a tier list of like who could vote for who. So it's like the lower tier votes for the upper tier, and then the upper tier votes for the even higher tier. And no, no, it's no. It's not like a, it's not like a tier list. Okay, so I can join if I, right now if I really wanted to, I could join the Conservative Party. I would not fucking do that in my life, but I could do that theoretically. Theoretically. And all all that I would have to do is have to send in a party donation. Uh, mm -hmm. every month uh, and they've got like a fucking weird donation system where it's like really expensive to join the conservative party which is probably why they they're declining in memberships uh or say so if i wanted to join the labor party i'd have to give in like i don't know 10 quid 20 quid a month to be a part of it and that means i'd be invited to certain meetings and political events and that i would get a vote in who becomes the leader of the party and then whoever I vote as leader of the party, if that party gains a majority of seats in the general election, the head of that party will become the prime minister. Oh, okay, okay. I mean, that, the, the first part is kind of cool. It makes sense. It's like, if you really want to be in politics, you got to really be invested in politics. Like, you have to put money into it. You got to go to these uh, fancy events and you got to really sit through all of these cabinet meetings. Well, you don't really. You just have to pay the membership fee and you can vote for it. Now it's starting to sound like Scientology. It's just starting to sound like a call that it's it, it, Okay, the, the thing is, the parliamentary system is not actually designed to have... I'm going to turn on some graphics just in case. It's not designed to uh, be a party system. The parties just kind of came about as, like, multiple... Uh, like, members have came together and said, what if we just create a party? And they do. Okay. That makes it so like uh, and then it's it's a it's a weird way it's evolved. It's very strange and peculiar. Have you ever heard of a cacistocracy? What's that? <laughs> I failed at saying it like five times. Um I saw this on Short Fat Otaku and he explained like how like uh like an aristocracy is like the richest of the rich are in power, while a cacistocracy is like when the stupidest people are put in power. <laughs> it's very counterintuitive. Well, not too different to what we have today, then. <laughs> no, not not very much. Oh gosh, like the least competent person is put in, is specifically chosen to be put in power. I've got you. Kind of like how we have every, a, every uh, single chocolate hot dog in the world. We have you'll, a geriatric have, patient as, as you, president. 
you have a, a blue passport. A blue one. Blue passport. <laughs> Proton Stalker, I thought that was an idiocracy. Close. Um, Laughing Cavalier says, "Member Boris bikes? I remember. What are Boris bikes? Um, essentially, rent. if I remember correctly, they're rent bikes. So you can rent bikes in London for a short time to get around. Mm -hmm. Interesting. And they just called them Boris bikes? Oh, that's the nickname. I don't think they were actual name. Do they still have them? Do y'all still have them? I think they're still around. There's still certain programs similar to that. Um, like, I've been in cities where they've had uh, electric scooters that you can hire for short periods of time. I see. Have you ever used the scooters? Uh, I I did once, and I nearly got run over. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, gosh. Like, I, I, okay, I, 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 was, I was drunk. Okay. <laughs> Here's what happened. Is I was drunk, and I was out with a bunch this of my mates. is how the Batman died. I... <laughs> We, we used it for a short time, and we were just going around the university campus, but we kept going out further and further. And there's a road that isn't really used Nine after the back ago, of the university Joker campus. Was and we I didn't look to check if a car was coming. And I went out into the road as a car was coming and out and nearly hit me. We waited. Oh, gosh. Braced itself for the inevitable power struggle. I hope the game's not too loud, by the way. I did try to turn it down. Crime actually fell. Like, I don't know if you'd be able to hear Deep it over down, the internet. I knew war was it's still kind of loud. I'm not going to lie. Okay, can I pause? No, I was just, it doesn't let just me. Just waiting for oh, some. You, 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 you're pausing and I'm pausing. I know, because I'm trying. Oh, here we go. Audio options. Oh, dialogue's still pretty loud. Okay. Proton Stalker says, happy birthday, Shiner. Thank you. There's so many games that, like, looking back, I would love to have worked on because they, they, there's so much passion and, and love that goes into them. Like, I would have loved to work on Arkham Knight. I would have loved to work on Arcane. Yeah. You'll get there, Shiny, I promise. You will get there. Look at this old diner. I feel so American. No problem. Welcome to you America. Do you have these kind of diners up there? No. So, what no. These are like super common here in the states. They're supposed to have like a 1950s feel to it. No, you know what? And they're just like the pinnacle of Americana. Don't tell me. So, okay, here's what I'm thinking. Here's what I'm thinking. You know how when immigrants move to America, okay, is this a, is this going to be a take that gets me canceled? No, no. Okay, good, 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 good. Just. <laughs> So 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 here's here's what I'm thinking. Here's what I'm thinking. So you know how when immigrants move to America, and I'm not sure if this applies to England as well, but you know how like when Chinese immigrants or Mexican immigrants or Italian immigrants, like when they move here, a lot of them tend to open like restaurants and then they have like their own mm -hmm. like genuine cuisine here and they make they make pretty good money off of it. Mm -hmm. If I went over there, right, and I opened my own American themed 1950s diner right there in England, and it's just, just genuine American food. Do you think I'd make bank? Do you think I, that would also work? I've got no idea. You'd probably get shut down by the authorities for uh, violating food standards. Violating? Oh. <laughs> I was about to question it, and then I realized that, that, wouldn't, that wouldn't be too improbable. A Proton Stalker says, check my uh, stream yards one second. Check your stream yards. You, know, you mean my stream labs? Oh. I assume. Because stream yards is the other. Oh, I have to fucking log into this thing. It's been too so long. Look, it's, it's a better way of doing things, but at the same time, it's also annoying to log into. Mm hmm. Yeah, I think if I if I did run an American diner, it, it might get shut down. You know, depending on, you know, what I what items I'd have. Excuse me, it. sir. You have far too much sugar in this food. Why is there fucking 
a hundred grams of sugar. This is a cheeseburger. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> I see that I've got a tip or a, a thing, but I can't see where it is. Fucking hell. Why is this got to be such a retarded layout? I can see the money. I can't see the not about the money i can't see the message if, if there is a message i can't see it <laughs> but thank you for the super chat in the stream lab. it doesn't even tell me who, well i i know who gave it to me Proton um Stock. i know yeah i know proton stalker gave it to me the problem is i oh this is happy birthday oh thank you proton <laughs> stock thank you for the okay. was it the 50 dollars or whatever Wait, it doesn't even Whoa. tell me what, what like fucking currency it is it just says 50 thanks Thanks, StreamYards, <laughs> piece of shit. <laughs> you fucking uh, stupid. Why? It's recent 50 events? US bucks. Hey, that's pretty good. Yeah, maybe it's in recent. Here we go. There we go. It's $50. Thank you, Proton Stalker, for answers. Happy birthday. Finally found it. There we go. That's palavras over. <laughs> but now, if anyone wants to. Uh, Send me money, I can easily open it up in the other tab. You just have to remind me of that message. Also, it's this fucking bald look look at this bald guy with a Batman mask, some kind of fucking nerd. Look at him and his phone. <laughs> the, the the bro found something he loves in his life. You know, he he broke up with his wife and now he's what found that? because of his Batman obsession. What is that food? It just looks like a pile of sloth. Like it looks like part intestine. <laughs> what, what's what's that? With a mm. some toast? Genuine American food. Mm. That that looks like some bacon on there. I don't know. I have. No I, I don't know if that's bacon. That doesn't look like bacon to me. It looks like intestine. <laughs> I I haven't seen bacon <laughs> that's in a tube and curled around. Oh man. Yeah, they could have done better with the uh, with that. Why is why is the pepper in a red bottle? It looks like ketchup. <laughs> Lord Apex says mashed potatoes and gravy, maybe? Maybe, maybe yeah. it's mashed potatoes. It doesn't look like gravy's there, though. And why would you put mash, mashed potato on toast? It it could be a steak instead of toast. What's, what's that headline? Uh, missing principle. Uh, Hunt continues for corporate killer. Very close attention to detail. Hello, you look like a fatter version of me with shorter hair. You know who he looks like? He looks like the guy, you know, Nano Machine Son, but smaller. He looks like a nerdy version of, of Armstrong, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. I, I literally just looked at this guy and thought, it's me, but fat. Nano machine, son. Nano machine, an American. Maybe that, that's American me because it's fat me. <laughs> You're gonna gain like fifty stone. What the heck is a stone? You don't even say kilos. You say stone. There's no smoking in here. Ah! It's a that went from. Uh, that escalated very quickly. Don't you tell me not to fucking smoke in here. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Everyone's being eaten. This is just a house on fire. Look at that. My gosh. Hello. You're friendly. Is this still Batman or is this The Walking Dead now? What's going on? Dr. Crow Carnival says happy birthday. Just stopping by. Thank you, Dr. Crow. Alex Halo is in the chat. What's good, man? Richard Richard Gradwell says, "Hail shiny, hail eerie, and happy birthday, Eve! Eve, happy birthday, Eve, shiny, happy birthday, Eve!" Thank you very much. Gotham, this 
is your only warning. Who's that guy? He's Scarecrow. Oh. He make it to zombies. Gotham is just your average day in San Francisco, isn't it? Like with it's like the worst never- parts of New York mixed with the worst parts of Detroit mixed with the worst parts of San Francisco. <laughs> I don't know why any sane individual would want to live there. There were 6.3 million people in Gotham City. Well, I don't know why any sane person would want to live in uh, New York, but yet yeah, uh, some Not people so do. Many. Yeah, it's true. I don't get it either. I think it's partly Stockholm Syndrome. I mean, it used to be nice once upon a time. Only once upon a time in the 1920s to the 50s. And then there's like a little bit in the 60s and 70s. Literally during the era of West Side Story, I noticed. <laughs> oh, gee. Yeah, thanks for pointing that out. During the diaspora. Uh, gee. It says uh, something rail station, and it's just, it looks like Hail Satan. Hail Satan. Hail Satan. It took uh, just 24 hours for us to lose control of the city. Tonight. This game has Gotham's aged incredibly one well. Man to save us all. Oh, yeah. How long was it? 2015, right? I think so. 2015. Maybe 2014. And this looks better than some games that come out today still. It's just like that much old. level of effort. Ten years old and it still looks really good. It still looks better than most. Can I change my Batman skin yet? Do I change my Batman skin? Get new skin. Save less than one minute ago. The skin. I think it's in Showcase. Lord Apex says, if I remember correctly, Gotham is supposed to be in New Jersey. Oh my gosh. I, th- I would not be surprised if it was I don't New think Jersey. it's supposed to be part of New York. I think it's supposed to be its own city. Well, well, we all joke about New York, but New Jersey? Oh my gosh. I've been to New Jersey before. It's it's a jungle. It is a I jungle. prefer Old Jersey. I've never been there, but I think a, a small little island is better than... Uh, Oh, especially off, a small island off the coast of France is probably nicer than uh, New Jersey. New is supposed to sound like it's, oh, it's updated. It's great now. No, it's not. It's worse than it's ever been. Okay, of course, I've got to activate the classic skin because why the, the fuck wouldn't you? The best I mean, look skin. at this. Yes, that is the best version of Harley. Can you do the voice? Okay, uh, what do you want me to say? Oh. I'd do anything for my Mr. J. That works. <laughs> but uh, I could go with uh, Robin Pattinson, Batman. Rob- Robin Pattinson? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go with uh, that one. <laughs> Robin- uh, Proton Soccer Robin asked, did you spray that suit on? <laughs> it's very tight. Paint it on. Hey, man, if you got curves, you know, I wouldn't blame you for, like, wearing things that flatter the figure. You know what I mean? I'm Batman. You are the Batman. I'm the Batman. So you got to go to the bat signal? Oh, why is it inverted by fucking default? It's stupid. That's bollocks. Where Where are the settings? Where are the settings? Inverted look, infer- in- inverted flight controls, fuck off. Why does anyone want that? On that cop's face when he turned the corner and saw us. <laughs> oh my gosh, Lord Apex asks, it, Lord Apex asked Eerie, will you make Shiny watch the Suicide Squad Isekai when it comes out? My gosh, the, thank you so much for reminding me of that. The I, what? There is a Suicide Squad Isekai that's coming out. It's an anime, basically. 
And isekai, what that is, it's a it's a genre of anime in which a person dies and is reborn into another world. That's the gist. And sometimes they like, and oftentimes they remember what their past life was, so they could glean, like, they could be amazed at the new world and have you know information, like from memories and all that. But apparently in this anime, just I'm guessing somebody dies and is reborn in Gotham. I've got no Sorry, idea. I've got to go. Stay safe, Barbara. It's Officer Gordon. Still know how to make an. I thought he was a black man. Going. Why isn't he black? Isn't Cross he always black though? I'll go. What? I'm just glad my little girl. Isn't got Officer it. Gordon black? No, guy. only in the Batman. Any lead on Scarecrow. We were tracking an unknown military. Which version is he black? And why he's mostly know? he's mostly a, a redhead. He isn't the Batman. He's black. The, the the movie. The evacuation. I just oh. don't have any power left in the city. If you find like, he's the only version of Gordon that's black. Like, where the fuck are you getting this from? I don't know. I don't know why I remember Gordon as black. Chemical weapon. He's usually a redhead. I won't let that happen, Jim. In case you need to reach me, it's going to be a long night. It's gonna be a long night, officer. Here's my bat phone. The Joker is on the loose again. Missing patrol car. Unit 247. Suspected officer down. Hey, Batman. Every damn time. <laughs> I need to see I need to see like a mod where he like runs off every time he disappears. We see him run off. I need the location of unit 247. Already working on it. How Who's she? He's uh, well, that's uh, Gordon's uh, daughter, Barbara. Okay. Uh, and she used to be Batgirl before the killing Batgirl. joke where she was shot in be the careful. spine and became disabled. Oh, right. Lord. <laughs> I don't know which is darker. Her getting shot in the spine and being paralyzed or, you know, her having Batman's child. Her <laughs> having Batman's child and then having a... Miscarrying. A, a miscarriage yeah. due to her being assaulted in the street. That's fucked up. Like that comic is so fucking bizarre. It is wild. Still think about that sometimes. Like who wrote that? Why would you? You haven't even read it. What do you no, mean I you haven't. think about it sometimes? You've heard me explain it to you. I know it's as good as me reading it. I lie. That's not true. <laughs> Sometimes I watch YouTube reviews so that way I don't have to watch the movie or the show and just say that I saw it or know about it. I know that's a really it. stupid way of doing it. Like, I haven't watched all of um... What is that kind of... Oh, High Guardian Spice. I haven't seen all of it. I've seen, like, half of it. I got so annoyed and so tired that I just watched reviews of the rest of it. And just basically said, fuck it, I'm done. I am done. Batman, I could use some help here. It be silly says, uh, just stopping in. Happy birthday, Shiny, and have a good day. Thank you very much. I ignore the uh, explosions. The city's overrun. We don't stand a chance. Stay here. I'll send someone to pick you up. What are you doing? Evening the odds. Getting a car. I love when people ask him a question and he does not answer straight. <laughs> it's like, I, I'm going to say who lied instead. <laughs> you could have just said jumping off a building guy. The Batmobile. Or should we call it the Bat Tank? I need to track that military. The Bat Tank. The Bat T-34. Location now. The Bat T14. What would a Bat T14 look like? Well, I assume it should be a T14 that you slap a fucking <laughs> was it Bat <laughs> logo on. <laughs> uh, the Bat Zimmer frame says the Laughing Cavalier. Man, for being a man of justice, he sure does drive recklessly. Damn. Oh. Oh fuck, he went the wrong way. I went the wrong way. Yo, that was badass. You just cut you just cut forward. Don't worry. I'm off the road. That 
takes care of the vehicle. I need to interrogate the driver and find out what he knows. So, um, if I were to open an American-style restaurant in England, uh, what kind of infringements do you think I'd get arrested for? Um, or shut down for? Causing too many people to have diabetes. Where's Scarecrow? We'd have hamburgers, we'd have hot dogs, we'd have, um, cannolis, because we need cannolis. We'd have hamburgers and, and scrambled eggs and toast and, uh... Hash browns. Okay, okay. You know, most of those we have. Out of a and well, yeah, but it's American. I, know. I thought you'd be going for more like Take Latino life, food. I'll break the other one. <laughs> no, I'm going. This is an American style diner. I would, I would open a Puerto Rican restaurant, but like those aren't as popular as Mexican restaurants. I could say I could pretend to be Mexican. Well, they're probably and, not as popular because there aren't as many people who like travel to America to or, open up or, restaurants and stuff. I've just sure. Well, actually, there are a ton of them here in the, well, in the states. I remember when you, you asked me if we had a weird Mexican food. It's like, oh yes, the famous immigration of pe Mexican people to the United <laughs> Kingdom. Yeah. Scarecrow's got a safe house nearby. Like locally, I have like a Honduran place, and it's specifically Honduran. It's basically just. Mexican food, but Honduran. It's interesting, um, but it's uh, oh, and also look, uh, a Mexican bodega opened up not too far away too. I got a I got a concha and a and a coconut milk, like a, it was strawberry flavored coconut milk. It was really good. I got it for like four bucks. It's good stuff. What if I open? If I open, wait a minute. That wouldn't make sense. If I, I was gonna ask, what if I opened a bodega instead? But then again, that's for like immigrants or like native people who like get those special foods. That wouldn't make any sense. Wait. I would open a bodega and nobody would come to my store. Bye bye. Look who it is. Say goodnight. Look who it is. Can't say I'm surprised. I forget how much I, I love the gameplay in Arkham Knight compared to uh, a lot of the other games. Also, like the other game, because th this is so much more fluid. Yeah. I just built up on the others. Oh fuck! I, I didn't even see what the fuck I was supposed to be pressing there. It just dawned on me that when you come over, you're going to try a lot of Puerto Rican food. Well, I assume that's because of what you're going to feed me. Well, yeah. I mean, if you're willing to try it. Sir, Batman, he's here. Were you expecting... Is that Poison Ivy? Batman. Yes. I'm afraid I must disappoint you. Take a look at the chamber. I want you to know the fear that is coming. Gee, what happened? We're walking out of here, nice and slow. You try anything stupid, I'll blow her brains out. Lord Apex asks, what Arkham game is this? It's not familiar, I'm not familiar Arkham with Knight. it. Arkham It's the, the last one. No. Mm. No. What was the last one we played last time? Uh, Arkham City. Arkham City, okay. Nothing like a little natural immunity. He should have shot her while she while he had the chance. She's like a bio terrorist. An attractive bio terrorist. Oh go, no! Go, I didn't... Go, go. Oh no! I skipped the cutscene. Shit. Oh. Confirmed. It's Batman. It's Bruce Wayne. He's the Batman. Good. I thought this would be tough. All it took was one tank. Do you remember that one time that Batman was Asian? Oh, in the fucking comic. Yeah, in the in the uh, the Gotham High comic. I, I could hear you thinking about it. You were stewing over it for a little bit. Sixty millimeter cannon operational. Yeah, he was Asian, and uh, what was it? Alfred. Alfred was also Asian, and he was gay. He was super gay. Concussion rounds. 
Simon. Richard Gl- Gradwell says, "My wife wants to know if you're Filipina, Erie. No, I'm not. I'm not from. I'm not Filipina. I'm Puerto Rican. Puerto Rican, yeah. Why, why would you be Filipina? Uh, the Philippines is like another side of the world altogether. I don't. Yeah, I have no it's... clue. I think I thought I mentioned that you were Latina. No, Filipina means from the Philippines. No, no, no. I thought I mentioned that you were Latina. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you did. I, to, to, Maybe... I don't think there's any Latina people in the Philippines. Maybe his wife misheard. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe his wife. Stupid. Actually, no. I probably shouldn't say that. I, should, I can't be mean. I'm sure. But hey, I'm all for the his, Filipinos. His wife is very intelligent and cool. nice. And that way, uh, you, you're not going to get put out on the sofa tonight. Oh, the Laughing Cavalier. Jay Longbone's read-through of that was hilarious. Oh, of uh, Gotham High. That was hilarious. I love that. I love watch. I, uh, every now and again, I will rewatch it. I, re- I rewatch it as often as I watch JonTron videos. It's just like one of those classics. I need to know where those tanks are coming from. Richard Glad- Gradwell says, my wife's maiden name is Torres. There are more on the way. That, Activate that, the isn't that a Spanish no. name? Like, okay, here's what's me- getting me messed up. Um, A lot of, there's like a lot of Spanish slash Asian crossover with, in the Philippines. And that could be super racist and, and ignorant to say that. But like, <laughs> educate me, please. Educate me, please. There's a lot that I recognize and then I don't recognize. But then I'm like, okay, that's kind of Asian-ish, right? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, to, yeah you, you said she's Filipina, but Torres is also a, a Spanish name. Also, Tutu also. Like, I know Spanish people who have that as a last name. Richard Bradwell says, yes, the Philippines were a Spanish colony and her father, grandfathers were Spanish. Ah, that would make sense. That makes sense because so was so was the Caribbean at one point. They were also colonized by the Spanish. And that's exactly and the Puerto Rico was exactly where Spanish. Yeah. And Phil and Puerto Rico was exactly where Christopher Columbus landed. So that was cool. Get a little bit of history Columbus, over there. Uh, an interesting history there. Yeah. Cultural history. <laughs> Oh, by the way, you sent me something about like don't stop oil. Uh, it was it was just stop oil. I call them don't stop oil. <laughs> don't stop oil. Don't stop the oil. Stop it. We need more oil. <laughs> to have oil. Let's see what you sent me. It says help replace phones and laptops seized by the Met. We reckon that Indigo arrested today. You reckon that Indigo, arrested today while trying to recover her personal belongings previously seized by the police, has had five separate phones and laptops effectively stolen. She's not alone. Help pay for the second-hand tech to be replaced. That the Who's the Met? What is the Met? Uh, the Metropolitan Police. Oh, the Metropolitan Police. Okay, okay. It's like not to be confused with the Met's office, which deal with the weather. Okay, okay. I think that's how it works. Freaking Stanford police. The Stanford police <laughs> responded and they say, or hear us that, out that's, because that's a wild I, I, idea. Don't break the law. Maybe <laughs> worth giving it a go. That, that's the parody account from uh, Hot Fizz. <laughs> uh, I'm following. I am following this account. It's funny because everyone thinks they're real for some bizarre reason. <laughs> because it just, it just, it just it, it's, sounds it's... legit. <laughs> it's kind of like the, uh, it's like the Andrew Tate or the uh, Joe Biden parody accounts, you know, or the Ocasio Cortez, the Alexandria Ocasio Cortez parody accounts. It's, they sound legit, and the things that they say are freaking funny, dude. England's smallest police farce committed to catching criminals and a swan. Don't report a cr- don't report crime. Emergency? Yes. Just dial 9199. No, dial 101. 
don't count. I love that. I love that. The PCPD lockup. I'm bringing in Ivy. All right, let's see what we got here. Tyler Preston is asking you about VTubers. Shiny effects. Ever heard of Kirsch? She's the Alex Jones of VTubers. I've never even, heard of them. I've never even... I don't know that many VTubers, much less Shiny know any VTubers. <laughs> oh, Richard Gradwell says, We took the Fil we took the Philippines during the same Spanish-American war. We took Puerto Rico. Puerto Huh? You, you def we, we fought? Puerto Rico and the Philippines fought. Hold up. Well, I think the the was it the American uh, any progress with the fear the Spanish analysis. war. And it's gonna take a little. Oh. While. Drop by the clock tower when you're ready, and I'll show you what I've got so far. Who taught you to drive? Don't sass me. <laughs> you're the one who's gray and dying. I'm not the one that fucks plants. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I, I remember a long time ago, there was this news article of a woman that had constant, Scarecrow's you know, physical affections with a tree. Why do you even bother with these meats? Out? Yeah, she was, she was unrest, having sex with a tree. A How? I don't remember. I just saw the headline. Look who it is. And, that, and that's what's getting me to, to think of Poison Ivy. Is the isolation chamber. Laughing Cavalier says the Spanish American War, USS Marine blew up, Americans blamed Spain and invaded Cuba, Philippines, and Puerto Rico. Oh, that's awesome. I'll, I'll, have, to, I'll have to look at history. <laughs> <laughs> you, you hear a war, it's like, that's awesome. Awesome that there was a war. That's awesome that the USS Marine blew up. That's amazing. You, you tell me english history all the time and and european history in general and i'm just like why why is I, I go, wow the falklands war what an amazing conflict wow <laughs> puerto rico and the philippines were still spanish colonies up until 1898 i'm learning history now this is awesome because okay i didn't i grew up not knowing that much history okay buddy you didn't know about the fall of the berlin wall I did not know about the but, fall but of the But somehow, for some bizarre reason, you knew, knew about this, was it, treaty that didn't even fucking happen because it never went through between France and England about possibly uniting. <laughs> I learned that from Italia, a fucking anime. Damn, you are crazy. Oh. It's still strangely precise history to know. I can handle it, Jim. <laughs> it is so weird. It's cropping up all it's over the city. About, like, the like, you don't know about know, these massive like, worldwide events all right, that you. happen, but yet you know about this one specific it's historical true. event that didn't it's even fucking... Well, it happened, but it never went through. <laughs> yeah, it never went, went through, through the past suggestion oh, no, no, because no one ever... Because no one realized when suggesting it. It's like, it's hey, you know how, like, no one in England or France would like this at all. Oh yeah. I, you always laugh at me for like how things that I do know are just as astonishing as the things I don't know. No one there. Yes. I don't I don't know why. I don't know why. You can do that. Uh, uh, like, uh, you gave me a whole quiz of just a bunch of countries, and you were like, Okay, I'm gonna give you two countries at a time, and you have to tell them which one's fake and which one's real. And I was just guessing <laughs> out of my ass, Okay, this one sounds real, uh, this one sounds kind of fake, I don't know, this one sounds real, and you were like, Yeah, they're all real. And then I, I knew Sealand was real, I knew fucking Isle of Man was real, I didn't know. I, okay, wait, none of them were Sealand, okay? I did not mention Sealand. I know you didn't mention Sealand, but I know that's a weird bit that I know. I know Sealand is a country. I'll look into these. I it's know not really a country, though. It's an oil rig. It's an oil rig, but it's still considered... It's still signed it's up. It's in international waters. It's not an actual country. It was, wasn't it a country at one point? No, like, it's, it's not. World... No, it's never been a country. It's never been a recognized country. They're not in the fucking UN. I don't know. In order to be, I know it's a thing, uh, though. 
but it's not a definite idea of what is or isn't a country. Don't fucking touch my car. And meanwhile, I have no idea what's going on between the, the, Czechoslovakia and freaking. No, no, no. no. Czechoslovakia does not exist anymore. Czech and Slovakia. Slovakia and like the Czech Republic. I have no idea what their deal is. They have a very complicated situation ship going on all the time. And I still have no idea what's going on. Mahler had a breakdown over the Isle of Man flag. <laughs> I gotta see that. I, oh, because Cavalier. it's like three legs or something like that, or three armored legs. Hang on, I gotta see. Isle of Man. Three legs and a stuff. They have birds. Why do they have? Okay, what? What is this? Is an SCP creature right here? <laughs> this makes no sense. What is this? That is a very cursed design. I gotta say, I love it though because it's just so weird. It's so it's so weird. I can see why Mahler had a breakdown over it. It's so weird. So yeah, I, I know very I the things that I do know are just as trivial as the things that I just don't know. Do I come in the back cave, start messing with all your stuff? You've oh, we got our token disabled character. Get ready. There's nothing in there that I'm we just can kidding. <laughs> I'm just I'm playing what with everyone. The wrong way. <laughs> oh, the game's woke now. The game's woke now, Shiny. Turn it off. Turn this shit off. Game's woke. <laughs> <laughs> the reaction emits a unique radiation. Effect. Fucking pronouns. Man of the city. Fucking. For this. You, give, yeah, you give me PTSD flashbacks. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking. It'll take a disabled few characters that can't walk and shit because we're boring. You're gonna get me in trouble. I keep getting I in trouble every him. time I talk about Az. He'd kill me if he knew I was. <laughs> You have nothing to do with that that drama going on. No, but like, if if you don't like say like Oz is the most amazing fucking person ever, there's a bunch of people that get really up your ass. They'll get up your ass. We'll tell ass. them to kiss your ass. Kiss my ass. That was a terrible joke. Jim, we've got a way to find out. Thank God. What can I do? Get your men ready. As soon as we've got a location, I'll let you know. All right. Should have known it was it was gonna be woke when they gave Batman a black suit. You gotta get me in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh! You know, I think if if you take the piss out of Az and everyone knows that I have a history of criticizing Az, you're gonna get me in trouble. Okay. Shout, Behave. I will. I will. Okay, good. Or we could send Az to the Isle of Man and run him over with the three legs on the <laughs> on the flag. What? <laughs> what? Why are you so weird? I have no clue. I'm just saying things, dude. Give up the hunt, bat. Oh you man. I, I sometimes think, wow, I'm a very strange individual. And then you just managed to outdo me in almost every single way. <laughs> yep. Would you still love me if I was a three-legged, no-face, no-torso creature like the Isle of Man flag? Would you still love no, me? No, I would not love you. Why not? Because you don't have your big booba. <laughs> you yeah, you're damn right. <laughs> Yeah, damn right. But like three legs, though. That's like, that's like two. That's like one and I'm a not half. Not a leg person. I don't think. Wow, legs. Damn, them legs. Do you think there's? Leg guys. Well, okay, guys wait. But is, is it is it male legs or female legs? That's the question. Oh, well, of course it'd be female legs. That I'm not accusing you of. Okay, being so does it have three vaginas? 
No, because it's just three legs affixed in the middle, so there's like nothing. Yeah, going but on. in between each leg, do they have yeah. a, a crotch? No. Okay, so it doesn't have any crotch. No, it's just three legs. It's just three okay. legs affixed to like the, the same three it's got a trin it's a trinitarian leg. And it no. just instead of walking it just rolls. <laughs> you wouldn't love me if I was just three legs? No, I wouldn't. I'm sad. I'm sad now, Shiny. That sounds like a personal problem. How could you do this to me? I'm I'll find sad. another attractive Latina girl. <laughs> oh, gosh. The flag of the flapping cavalier says the flag of Sicily is similar but has a face in the middle. Oh, yeah, it has like an angel or something like that in the middle. Yeah, it was like some hair. Cool. Yeah, that's like some weird ass angel with like three. Are those like wheat chaffs? Are those wheat chaffs? Yeah, that is cursed. It's got a, it's got a face in the middle. What if it had my face in the middle? What if it was three legs but it had my face in the middle? I don't, it wouldn't work for me. No. Okay. <laughs> the eyes are straight up black. That's creepy. Tyler Preston says, and that other Latino girl's name is Literature Devil. Don't don't be cursed. <laughs> Did Eerie read my super chat? No, I did not. Let me see. Let me see. Alex Halo, thanks for the two dollar super chat. And he and he said only VTubers Eerie. The only VTubers Eerie has seen was the clips that I sent her. <laughs> yes, I'm not that deep into the VTuber lore. It's very deep. It's very extensive, and I just don't have. I don't have the time for that. I don't. It's the lot. Ain't nobody Gibbo's, got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Gibbo's game gaming says hello. Hello, Gibbo. How are you, Gibbo? Gibbo sounds like a cursed toy creature that we would sell to children back in the 80s. Doesn't that? It's like everyone and their mother's trying to get their child a Gibbo. What? Like, like they like they were beating down the doors of the Sears just to get their what child a Gibbo. What do you want about? <laughs> I'm saying, I'm saying that Gibbo just sounds like some like cursed toy creature we would give children in the '80s. Like, like, like at the sound of the name, the essence of the name Gibbo. Okay. Oh, Gibbo's gaming says, "I'm great. How are you? Thanks. That's my last name." <laughs> I'm so fucking sorry. Okay. Um. So what? What kind of? <laughs> <laughs> what, what kind of last name is fucking Gibbo? No, sorry, sorry now I have to personally I'm insult sorry. you. No, I'm no, so no, sorry. don't feel sorry. No, having a last name like that, you deserve to be insulted. I'm so, <laughs> I'm fucking so sorry. You should feel ashamed. You should legally change your name. <laughs> I'm so sorry I made fun of your last name, dude. That was so out of pocket. I'm not sorry. I thought you made that up. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh oh my gosh Mr. Gibbo sir he'll be ashamed of himself oh my gosh Alex Halo says what kind of a name is shiny explain shiny a better one than fucking Gibbo. Gibbo says I can't exactly change my name, as it's my dad's. La uh, <laughs> as my dad oh. left me and my mom's dead. It keeps oh, no. getting worse. Oh no! <laughs> I'm so sorry. The radio I was just. I think we should bully him should more. <laughs> He says so. Thanks for reminding me of the pain. Listen, try checking in once in a while. Life needs pain every now and again. Oh, that'll be the cross. You have I, I honestly to don't know if he's serious or not. If he's playing, <laughs> I 
don't know either. I don't know either. I'd like to. I'd like to imagine he's serious though. Oh god. Well, so, so we've been actually taking the piss out of him, and he's actually in pain this entire time. <laughs> That's what you want. <laughs> Out of all these situations, you want him to really be in pain. <laughs> wow, you're a real oh psychopath, gosh. aren't you? Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, that's just like some stand-up comedy shit, you know what I mean? That sounds like something out of a freaking Edgar Wright movie right there. Yeah, I that. Uh, that is a oh, fucking arm. massive moon. <laughs> Gonna cause the end of the world soon. Holy shit, that moon is huge. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Gibbo's Gaming says, Wow, death is a joke to you. <laughs> Why would I not be serious about something that happened? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm gonna. I, I, okay, just just in case, I'm gonna step yeah, away from this. I'm not gonna... <laughs> okay, it's just the cruel irony. <laughs> oh gosh. Anyway, Laughing Cavalier says he will come back soon from that gas station with the cigarettes and the milk. Oh gosh. Separate them. They'll be easier to take down. Man, I went to the grocery store today and I bought these, these like lobster crab cakes, these like imitation lobster crab cakes. And I followed the instructions on the back. I baked them and they just tasted awful, dude. I have never hated seafood a day in my life until today. Like that was, those were some bad crab cakes. Like they were just not good. They were on sale. I've it's never like had a crab know. cake. A cra You've never had a crab cake? No. Oh man. No. It's like a it's like a little biscuit. I'd say biscuit, but you don't like an American biscuit, right? Uh like a little cake and they have like shreds of like lobster and crab in it. And red lobster can do them really well, but the ones that I got from the grocery store, I baked it and the top was like like crispy it was nice but then the inside was like still super raw and i'm like what the what the why who made this why scarecrow won't want to hear any excuses if we fail give us gaming says i haven't heard or seen my dad in nine years and my mom's been buried for 11 years bro i'm so sorry bro i will pray for you this easter Velociraptor says, hello, Shining Eerie. How are you two doing? I've been listening to some American marching songs. Have a happy birthday, Shiny. My birthday will be coming up soon. A lot of April babies going on over here. For Shiny, then we got like, we have Lord Apex, who's an April baby, and Velociraptor, who's also an April baby. You think they're safe if they stick together? April has to be like a baller time to be born. I'm just, just saying. I've got a hostage situation. Well, I think it's probably just because, like, probably about nine months ago, like, look, people just get really on for some reason. Wait, what's nine months? What's nine months ago from April? Um, February, March, April. It's four months. And then four minus nine. It'd be five. Hang on, I'm using 200%. It would be five. Yeah, it would be, yeah, it would, no, yeah, it would be negative five. It would be like. Oh, yes. It's a negative five from twelve. So it'd be July. Someone gets really excited in July. What happens in July? Because nine months later it's April. What happens in July that makes everyone so rowdy? It's summertime. And 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 summer's in the air. And it's the fourth of July. And uh I don't know what any special events are going on in England on the 4th of July. Richard Gradwell says, my wife's birthday is in 10 days and her mother's birthday is in 3. Oh my gosh. So many April babies. <laughs> Laughing Cavalier says, Hitler was born on April 420. Wow, Hitler too, dude. So many April babies in my chat.
Fun fact. Uh, I thought of it through, and I decided to back out on it. Never mind. It was it was it was a it was a fact about like oh you're not conceived the same day that your parents sleep with each other, that was the fact. It could be like five days later. Good to know. Yep. For whatever reason. Yeah. So like they might I don't not know have why you felt there. the need to tell us that, know. but you did. I know. I was gonna walk it back, but then I just decided to commit. Richard Gradwell says my, that his birthday is in July 4th. Let's freaking go, dude. You're partying for two separate reasons. That's got to be an extra cool party. It changed my fucking outfit and I'm annoyed. Oh, gosh. Fucking piece of shit. No, it's active. So wait, why the fuck is it not selective? Okay, well, I guess it'll fix it itself. Um, just select something else and then select back. Oh, is that is that Anne Hathaway? Wait. The Catwoman is that Anne Hathaway right there? What Classic this TV one? Series. Oh no no no! I thought that was that one. I thought that was Anne Hathaway. It was the original actress. Yeah, that's her. She kind of looks silly. I'm not gonna lie. She doesn't look bad. I don't know. She she looks like a kinky cosplayer rather than a freaking actual. Yeah, exactly. Cat. She doesn't look bad. <laughs> uh huh. What about 90s, 90 Catwoman? 1990s? Let's see. She looks. That's, that's very better. tight. That's very, very <laughs> up there. Giving herself uh -huh. a wedgie. I don't like the you material. You want to be sexy? Much. Have a get a wedgie. Well, let's like check out Nightwing. You'll be good looking, Just but you'll be, be fair, uncomfortable. Just to be fair, to be gender equal, Nightwing's ass, his famous ass, it's pretty lame. Could be better. I've pretty... saw Metal Gear Solid Snakes is better. I'm disappointed. Mm, yeah, yeah, pr pretty lame, pretty lame ass. Shame. Hey, did you hear about the uh, speaking of ass? Did you hear like how the original TV show of Batman, like they had them take pills to like shrink their junk because yeah, because like, Christians complained. No, it was specific the cat. It was specifically the Catholic committee that complained, <laughs> which makes it double funny. Maybe we should just get rid of Catholics. <laughs> uh huh. Get rid of Puerto Rican what? Catholics. Just deport them all. For the record, I'm Puerto Rican Catholic, okay? I know that was a very edgy joke. I, I barely even call it an edgy joke. It's a pretty lame joke, if you ask me. Women aren't funny. That's an edgy joke. Women aren't funny. There we go, fixed it. Click the new bat suit. No, it's fucking undone it. Fuck you. Fuck you, game. I want <laughs> to look. Oh. Okay, no, no, okay, no. It's gonna it's gonna change it again. Stop changing my bat suit, you piece of shit. We're gonna change it for a second time and undo everything. Well, Mr. Wayne, let me walk you through. Mr. It. Wayne. Wind out here, dang. Um, uh, I'm gonna check my local weather just to make sure that there's no tornado warning going on. What? One hostage. Uh, I'm just checking my local weather because it's super windy, and that's usually that's not always the best sign where I live. I live in the tornado alley, so um. Is there a warning? Air quality is good. Uh, okay, so we're looking good where I am. All right, no, no tornado. Awesome. I just that's where I live, it's great. I just love be living in a high risk tornado and, and hurricane place. It's just, it's just my favorite, you know. I'll send someone to pick you up. Thank you. Tell me you're gonna find Scarecrow. That son of a bitch needs to be stopped. 
And then like uh, when there's like a tornado or like a like a hurricane warning, it's like you have to hide in like a certain area of your house for like a little while until the news tells you it's okay to come out. Can you imagine that, Shiny? Oracle. I've attached the no, because I live in England where you don't have tornadoes and hurricanes. An you don't have tornadoes. You don't have fucking hurricanes. You don't have dangerous creatures living in the woods. You don't have screens on your damn windows. Okay. I don't know how you guys make it. Like, that's crazy. All of that. Well, we, we make it because we don't have all those things. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You guys have like the fairy land, the fairy tale land, woods, oh. like forests. It's got, it has deer and rabbits okay. and African bears okay. and pumas and coyotes and wolf okay. gangs okay. and okay. not wolf gangs, like wolf packs in it. You know where Scarecrow is manufacturing his toxin. Do you at least have poisonous plants? Uh, I don't know. I know we have poison ivy everywhere. Do you guys have, like, ticks? Like, deer ticks? The radio and microwave frequencies point to ace chemicals. That's um, where Scarecrow's producing the toxin. Maybe. I don't know. Jim, I've traced the fear toxin to ace chemicals. Yeah. That's where we'll find Scarecrow. Impossible. Like, I can imagine, I can't imagine what it's like to, like, go camping and not feel anxious. Must have bought them off. Not feel like you're going to wake up and there's going to be a bear. Like, remember when we looked up the most dangerous animals in England? And, like, the top was, like, a cow? It was a cow at number one or something like that. Yeah, like, cows is one of the animals that causes the most fatalities or something like that. The most deaths caused by the most docile farm animal. Wait, no, don't underestimate cows. They can, uh, was it, be pretty dangerous if they get scared. Well, yeah, but they're like farm animals. Like, like if they're scared, like, obviously, they're they're huge. They're pretty big. They're not well, a bear, though. Have, have you ever met a not... bull before? Yeah, yeah, they do be pretty scary. Not gonna lie. But, you know, they're not pumas. They're not coyotes. You know? It's a cow. Yeah. They go moo. Mm. They make milk. My they granddad's girlfriend is like no fiercely scared of cows. I like Your granddad? My granddad's girlfriend. She's fiercely she, scared she, of cows. Yeah, she. <laughs> I remember whenever we walk through. Oh, um, so my, my granddad, who is uh, likes to walk through fields and, and crap, we'll always go on walks with. Um, his, his girlfriend is like uh, likes to go along with him, but she's very southern. Mm -hmm. Like she's she's much she's very posh, and she very easily freaks out about a lot of things and one of those things happens to be cows that's a very specific thing to be afraid of but, well it's just whenever we've been in a field with cows she's like oh my god oh my god oh my god <laughs> she's uh, is it because is it that she's afraid or is it that so, she's like, just like, like that a 70 year old woman fucking running out of a field the moment she's a cow Any word from inside. <laughs> nothing we think there's a skeleton. Crew like you think she'd see like a she saw like a snake or like a if there's like still a coyote a lot, find them. or a bear. Tell us what's. We need to get out of here. What is it? It's a cow. And it's just chewing the grass, minding its own business. Well, sometimes they'll walk up to you because they're curious. Oh. And I'm sure then they're friendly, right? Take cover. Cows are like a little bit dumb. I'm not gonna lie, they're cute. I like I like cows. Cows are cute, especially Highland cows. Have you seen Highland cows? No. Highland cows are like that those brown fuzzy ones, and they look so soft. Yeah, those ones. Yeah. they're little. They're like especially the babies. The babies are so little and they're so fuzzy. They're so cute. Okay. We all know that the uh, black and white cows make regular milk, and the brown and white ones make chocolate milk. 
and the pink ones with strawberry milk. Friend of yours? Stay here, and I'll go find out. Time to be Batman. I'm Batman. I am the night. I am Batman. Whoever this guy is, he's a symbol. That Do y'all have snakes? I need a name. Um, yes, we have uh, grass snakes, uh, but they're very small constrictors. Uh, we have uh, adders, uh, but they're very rare. Um, okay. I remember when I was at college, there was a there was a sign that was put up near a walkway that said, you know, black adder was sighted here. Anything else? A was it black adder? No, it was a copperhead. It was a copperhead snake. Or it was a... Copperheads and diamondbacks are very common here. And they are both poisonous. Or venomous. Every time I think of an adder, I always think of black adder. Like, da, 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 Unless you want to end up slaughtered. I gotta say, the queen has to be my favorite character in Blackadder. Oh, um, yeah, Queen Elizabeth I. Yeah, like, she's annoying, but she's, like, charmingly annoying. She's, like, she's naive. She can be cute sometimes. She's a bit stuck up. She is a bit stuck up. But you know, it's, what do you what do you expect from a queen? You know? What else would you expect from a cartoony queen? Not to be an entire little bitch. The the episode that I remember from Black Adder, we were watching them. We were watching those episodes, and I was like kind of falling asleep. But like the one that I remember, one of them that I remember though was when he was like trying to, um, he was trying to have a party with both like a Puritan family group and like yes. a super like his aunt was a Puritan, party. but he wants yeah. her inheritance. Yeah, that's right. That's right. So he, he, he needs to pretend that he's a Puritan, but at the same time, he's gotten into a bet that he can what was it drink uh, Melchard under the uh, was it, under the table. Yeah, <laughs> I thought that was pretty funny. Puritan Puritans are such a weird culture. They still exist, right? I don't know if they exist. I'm not super knowledgeable about Christian culture, to be honest, other than like what I casually understand myself or what you've told me. Yeah, I like. I they're, heard... they're certainly not as big as they used to be. That, that's for yeah, sure. Yeah, definitely. I know. What if the alt history is a Puritan? No, or a Quaker? Is he a Quaker or a Puritan? He's one or the <laughs> other. Very different things. Are they? <laughs> yeah, well, as far as I'm aware, I always thought Quakers were very much the, the hippie Christians. Uh-huh. Yeah. Well, at least that, that's my experience of them, because there's a Quakers church in my hometown. And was it when, once with school, we went to a tour of all the churches in my town. Uh, and so we went to the Quakers church, we went to the Roman Catholic church, we went to the Anglican church. Like, we went every, uh, to all of them. And the Quakers were the ones that seemed like hippies, while the Roman Catholics yep. seemed like they were the like really strict, uptight ones. And what? then a Anglicans seemed like the more reasonable ones. Okay, interesting. I, I didn't expect that from Quakers. I thought they were like the Puritans. Well, maybe when you come over here, we can, we can go visit the Quakers church. The, the hippie church. It's so I don't know. I never associated them with like the hippies. I know Quakers from the freaking Quaker Oats brand. It's an oatmeal brand we have here in the United States. Okay. I'm not sure if you've it, ever seen it. Like it has. I, like, I, I, I know the Quakers Oats brand. We even have it here. 
Oh, okay, okay. It has like a like an old American guy on the front with white hair and like a black suit. And everyone's like, oh, this guy could possibly be a slave owner. <laughs> it's just like, okay. Let's see. Richard Bradwell says, Quakers led the anti-slavery movement in America. Oh, then what I just said was was okay. Was completely one hundred percent wrong. Okay. <laughs> Sounds like the two of you might have some history. What did the what? I have a computer right in front of me. I could just freaking Google it. What? What do? I can't type with my left hand. What do? What are you doing with your right hand? Quakers, I have my microphone. <laughs> oh, you're holding your microphone. Back to the car. Yeah, I'm holding. I have to hold my microphone up. Yeah, I don't have a desk in front of me. Um, Quakers seek to experience God directly within ourselves and in our relationships with others and the world around us. That just sounds like general Christianity. Like that's not telling me anything. Well, Quakerism. I, 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 don't, I don't think they have a a priest or anything like that because. Uh, I, I remember that they, they just sit in a hole, mm -hmm. and they, they don't, they, and they just whoever wants to speak gets to speak. Interesting. Yeah, that sounds pretty hippie. Quakers neither practice baptism or celebrate the Eucharist. This is from BBC.co.uk. They don't regard some activities as more sacred than others, nor do they nor do they believe that any particular ritual is needed to get in touch with God. So they do not believe the sacraments practiced in mainstream Christian churches. Interesting. What are the five key Quaker beliefs? Simplicity, peace, integrity, community, equality, and stewardship. And the <laughs> and the acronym is Spices. I found a way to get the Batmobile into the compound. Funny, because in history, Spice Girls, all of them, the Spice Girls, because <laughs> that's what they invaded other countries for. I'm just kidding. Okay, just, it would be funny if they did though. Gates open. Invaded, who <laughs> invaded other countries for the Spice Girls? <laughs> Oh, gosh. Richard Gradwell says they don't call themselves Quakers either. They call themselves friends. That is that is the biggest downgrade of a name I've ever heard since, since Latter-day Saints. Friends. What, what religion are you? Oh, we're the friends. We're friends. Okay, you and I are friends. No, we are friends. The Quakers! We're, we're the Friends Church. Of the, the TV show. <laughs> they, oh, he said they settled mostly in Pennsylvania, which is where I'm from. Okay, interesting, interesting. It's it's funny how you uh, associated the Quakers with the, the fucking Puritans. I don't know where I got that. I, I, I just I think of early America, I think of the Puritans, and I think the Quakers. And Quaker Oats. The, okay, Richard Gradwell says, There is a friend's meeting house built in 1767 right down the street from the house I grew up in. Friends meeting house like that. That sounds like a cult. I swear, it just sounds like a cult. <laughs> we are the friends, the inner friends. Would you like to be one of our friends? Join us and be one of our friends. <laughs> you know, it just sounds kind of nefarious if you say it in a certain way. They have their own Bible. It's called the Quaker Bible. A, literal, a new and literal translation of the books of the Old and New Testament, with notes critical and explanatory, is the seventeen is the 1764 translation of the Christian Bible into English by Anthony Perver, uh, a Quaker. The translation was published in two volumes in London. Interesting. We're learning a lot about Quakers today. <laughs> Keep your guns trained on. Like Who's this guy? He's the Arkham Knights, the edgy villain. Yo. No, totally not Jason Todd. 
Aim for the weak spots, the shoulders first, then coordinate fire. He's Jason Todd. Yeah. Please. He's Jason Todd. Leave him out of this. Do you even know who Jason Todd is? Yeah, that's like Batman's like third or fourth bat um Robin. Robin. Yeah. yeah. Do you know what I'm thinking right now? Of course. That's what they call their churches, simply meeting houses. All right, considering the the context that you said that they were super hippie, like that sounds super hippie. We all meet in a meeting house, man. We're all friends here. Come on, take a take a blow, take a take a whiff from the peace pipe, y'all. Concoction of weed, crack, and a little bit of love, you know. And they all sit in a circle and just like smoke the peace pipe. Richard Nixon was a Quaker, says Velociraptor. Was he? I think I don't know. I have to look it up. <laughs> was Richard Nixon? Oops. Impeached? No. Uh, did, did his Quaker. fucking biceps just you're jiggle? You're <laughs> it's for the female gaze. Jiggle, wow. jiggle. His biceps just jiggle. Damn. That's weird to imagine Richard Nixon as a Quaker. He was a lifelong friend or Quaker. Then I like when they say friend, it just sounds like they're using weird ass code words. Richard Nixon. Yeah, Nixon was a Quaker. Just, just ignore the fact that I broke in to, or to, uh, to the Watergate scandal and all that shit. What Focus even the was moon. the Watergate scandal? Like, I've heard of uh, it. Nixon was involved with sabotaging a political opponent by breaking into um, Watergate or whatever, and that was a whole other thing. <laughs> I've forgotten most of the details about it. Wasn't it like they were spying on the DNC? Something like that, I don't know. Aren't muscles not supposed to jiggle, though? Well, aren't they supposed to be, like, hard as stone? Well, only when they're tensed. Yeah. Crush me with your biceps. Like, how how do you think asses uh, like twerk? I thought they They've were going to you know, use muscle in them. Because it's them not muscle; it's fat. No, but your ass has a muscle in it, and yeah, muscles like usually surrounded by layer. fat. It's like a it's like a thin layer of muscle, but then like the rest but, of it, but, like the but rump, fat is fat exists on top of muscle. No. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, yes. And it's but... o it's only hard when it tenses. Yes, but like muscles, like your biceps, if they get big because they're muscles, they don't. They're, it's not fat that jiggles. It would be hypothetically muscle that's jiggling. But muscle, but does muscle jiggle? Does muscle? I have no idea if muscle jiggles. Muscle... I'm gonna Google that. I'm gonna Google. Weapons, soldiers, does materials, muscle. We're doing. He's producing his toxin on a massive scale. Jiggle. Let me see. Does Where muscle jiggle? I'll stop him. Yes. Apparently muscle jiggles. Yes. I mean, this is completely on unreasonable levels, but it will probably still jiggle because muscles and skin are uh, connected tissue. Building a bomb big enough to cover the entire East Coast. Interesting. Take your men and get out of here. Head to GCPD and lock it down. Keep everyone inside. I'll get my men off the streets, but I'm going Batman's down. jiggly muscles. But, like, you don't see anybody, you know, making thirst traps from jiggly muscles, though. I know you will. Am I wrong? Am I wrong, Shiny? Well, yeah, you just flex the muscles instead. Yes, but, you know, nobody, like... Yeah. Yeah. Like, people thirst over flexed muscles, but nobody thirsts over jiggled muscles. Well, they did... They jiggle when you flex. Okay. Yeah, sort of. Yeah. 
Richard Gradwell says he wasn't involved in the breaking, but he tried to cover it up when he found out. I thought he was he... connected to the breaking, not that he did the breaking himself. I knew you wouldn't let us down. We're not done was yet, a Russian well, spy. I, I assume by how he tried to go. It's like one of those things where I was edu once upon a time I was educated by it, and then I just kind of forgot about the whole thing because it wasn't important. Yeah, me in history class. <laughs> I only remember details of history just to get by on the tests. Oh, and it was also mostly Catholic history. Because, you know, I was Catholic homeschooled. So it was all had to be in a Catholic context at all times. Um, but I looked over to where my sister was reading the same history that I had. And they were like, Fascism, fascism can be a good thing, but only if we do it. <laughs> <laughs> Something to that effect. It was like, oh, fascism is neither a good well, thing I, I, or I remember you thing. showed me that fucking book. Oh, what the fuck was that? Huh? What was that? Fascism can can be used to good effect. I'm, I remember you showed me that. I forgot completely about it. <laughs> yeah, it was... It was the, yeah, they were like, oh, fascism is sometimes a good thing because in Italy it was fascist when there were, and there was a Christian... You know, a Christian dictator, and he like really fought for the faith. And what, he was what Mussolini? <laughs> I don't think it was Mussolini. I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember. Mussolini is the very first. He invented fascism. I don't know any of those details, man. I have no idea what the fuck happened in Italy at that time because they were like, you know, Italy is based because that's where the Pope lives, and you know, they never said anything bad about Italy ever. So I'm just like, okay, people said some bad things happen in Italy, and I am out yes, of that loop. Fascism is good when we do it. <laughs> as long as it's Christian fascism. <laughs> Christian fascism is based, You, you need to find that book, because we, we need to... Do you still have it, or...? Um, I gotta find it. I took a screenshot. I'll have to, I'll have to see. I'm pretty sure my sister still has it. It was kind of funny. <laughs> I think it was called, like, Christ the King of History or something like that. And it was, like, history through a Catholic perspective. <laughs> you know, it's where all the Catholics a are... A totally non-biased perspective. <laughs> well, they said from the beginning, like, hey, all history books are biased. Because that's what makes it entertaining <laughs> and interesting. <laughs> so Otherwise, you know, it would just be... All history books are numbers. biased. Therefore, it's fine when we do it. <laughs> It, it, it's, it's fine when we have overt fucking bias in our history books. Uh, yeah. And they were like, oh, you know, all of them have bias. Otherwise, it would just be facts and numbers, and that would be boring. Like, so, yeah, the, I, the know, idea of a, a historian is trying to be as, you know, the least bit of bias as you can possibly be. Right? That's that's what no, all historians at least tempt to do. Catholic if you're history, a biased historian, Catholic you're a bad historian. <laughs> All the Catholics were Chads all the time. All in all of history. You cannot dispute this. There's no dispute. Jackson Vohees says, Happy B Day Shiny. What depressing subject will be devolving into today? <laughs> I don't know. I, I fucking blame Aerie on this shit. She always brings this up. She always brings up the dep it's it's true though, you do. <laughs> I do, I really do. Jackson Bo, he says talking about Christianity led to a dark place on Valentine's Day. Ah! You're not gonna let me live this hey, down, are you? Whose fault was that was <laughs> that was my fault. Whose fault was that? Exactly. That was my fault. Rick Richard Gradwell says fascism is alive and well today in the UK. No free speech here anymore. Oh, yeah. It depends well, what you mean by fascism, because, like... Fascism. The, the part I fucking hate is about fascism is that everyone just calls whatever they don't like fascism. It's stupid as Yeah! Fun. I tried to do research on what fascism was, and I was just bombarded with just, like, oh, anything the right likes is fascism, and anything the left loves is not fascism. It's anti -fascism. Unless you're right-leaning, in which you, if they also claim that anything the right does is fascism. Well, and now at this point, it just seems like fascism is like one of those overused words, like racism. It is. It's, it's like in the Red Scare when everyone was like, "Oh, that's communist." It's communism. Communism. What? What was it? Um, 
uh, what we're going to introduce uh was it uh drink driving laws that's communism have you seen that video it's fucking it's just fucking oh, wild yeah. it was like a bunch of like southern hicks and they were like <laughs> they, they... You can't. Sometimes you just want to drink and go for a relax and drive. You can't take that right away from me. And now they're trying to give us seatbelts, like fascism. That is fascism right there. Oh, God. And if you can get arrested for something you say that's fascism, that is not fascism. If anything, that's authoritarianism, which is tangential, but uh, that's more got more to do with free speech. And even then, I, I don't think even free speech is authoritarianism. It's just very heavily linked to authoritarianism. I, like, okay, I get, I understand what authoritarianism is. Fascism. I have no. Fascism is a specific ideology created by Mussolini, uh, which was to combine elements of nationalism and socialism. Interest, in nationalism, and socialism. Yes. Interesting. That sounds like a very bad combination. Well, that's because it was. But wait, how is... But like, wouldn't fascism, like, in terms of, like, speaking against free speech be like, oh, if you speak against the state... Oh, okay, so, to, okay, so how, how to best legal. think about this? Is so communism you can have an authoritarian communist state and you can have a fascism a fascist authoritarian state however a fascist or a communist authoritarian state is not fascist right like okay. you would you wouldn't describe in a billion years uh what was it like stalin uh, stalinism is, is fascism because they're, it's a completely different ideology okay like what, what we're usually referring to is the even if they have similarities or even have uh, commonalities between them, the ideologies come from completely different branches of thought. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Interesting. Like I've like I've heard Shorfado Taku try to explain fascism, and I got so lost. And I'm like, what is happening? <laughs> what is Italy? Just was like a very different place than I have ever heard anywhere in the world, which is weird. It's like a Batman. yeah. Look, I've been talking with Robin. I really think you should consider letting him help you. You're up against an entire army. There's fascism. There's authoritarianism. There's liberalism, and then there's. Well, you what you have you got to remember that many many of these things can be no, it can't. combined you know together. Uh, so they're not focused. mutually exclusive. Things will get worse. Much I see. Worse. Like in theory, you could have. An authoritarian fascist communist state. Don't let your feelings for him. Right. Like, okay. in, in theory, but it's, it's never happened. I'd rather he stay out of it, but he could help. I would not like to see it though. <laughs> I mean that would be a fascinating combination. It would be. Richard Gradwell says, No, 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 you're wrong, Shiny. You're confusing economic systems with authoritarian ideology. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> We're going to get into this. I'm not going to get into economic this. systems and authoritarian ideology. Uh, like communism is an ideology beyond just the economic system of how the government, because it's also a system of governance. It's not just a system of economics. Yes. I was not very educated in history and economics and politics, okay? So I'm, I'm just agreeing with what everybody says, because it sounds right enough to me. To destroy that wall. You could say that fascism is the party that gave everybody a pony. I'd be like, well, that sounds about right. <laughs> Hell yeah. I love ponies. But I can use the winch on the Batmobile. You could be like, communism is freeing the nation from... E ecological terrors like like cows farting and methane and I'd be like yeah that sounds about right Richard Gradwell just copy pasted the definition of fascism into the chat <laughs> with the with the uh, with the pronunciation and everything Fascism is a far-right, authoritarian, ultra-nationalist political ideology movement characterized by dictatorial leader, centralized autocracy, and militarism. 
<laughs> yeah, authoritarian and fascism. You wouldn't need to define That's it as really usually fa authoritarian if it wasn't like, if they were the same we'll thing. Like you, do, you right? can't. Okay, you, you can't look at um, people not having free speech. Say that's authoritarianism, when that's not what authoritarianism is. It's that's more of a, a, a power structure, and then say that's fascism. Like you're making many jumps. It's unconstitutional like, it's, it's, and it's wrong. Maybe fascism. Like isn't we, the right we're thing. talking about like a lot of things, which are, yeah, very obviously wrong. But I, I think it's important to get it right with what we're talking about here. Yeah. And it's interesting because, you know, Especially when up... there, there are words which are just far too overused. Oh, yeah. Yeah, like, growing up, like, on the right, um, like, words like fascism, it's like, that is your, that's your cue to tune out. Like, that is, once you hear that word, it's like, oh, you're a fascist. And then it's like, you're calling me nothing. I don't know what that means. Like, what is that? Jackson Vohe says, fascism is whatever you make of it, from Doc Brown. That's a quote. High as the elevator will go. I saw I saw a comedian. It was a it was a very interesting thing that he said. He's like, oh, it's exhausting, you know, being left wing. Sometimes I wish I was right wing because it seems so much <laughs> easier. It's like you don't have to be on on the ball with every single every single point. But like they'll be like, oh, you'll get there eventually. But if you're on the left, you have to be like. Oh, you you're not even a hundred percent on my lane. You are a fascist. And they will jump down your throat. It's like, okay. Yeah, I like this guy's self-awareness. I appreciate it. So uh that's our little shtick on uh fascism on the stream. Fish. Get into deep conversations about uh, authoritarianism, fascism, freedom of speech, economic system, giving everybody a pony for free. I just want a pony for free, man. It's gonna, like, why, why is it specifically when you're here? Like, I don't get into these conversations any other fucking time, other than when, when you exist. <laughs> I'm into the deep stuff. I could joke around and I could get into like some really deep stuff that I don't even I don't even know about. I'm like Joe Rogan, right? Joe Rogan has this thing where he's like, I'm just a dude. I don't know half of the shit that we're talking about. I'm like that, you know? I don't know half the shit that we're talking about. Yeah. And that's what makes it interesting. Eat box. Did you just say eat box? I threw a box in his face, so yeah, I said eat box. <laughs> yeah, that means something very different. So I have a question. I have a question. A political question. Mm -hmm. it's, it's oh, not I'm like sure this won't go into fuck some crazy territory. We're not getting into some crazy territory. It's a hypothetical. It's a hypothetical. It's a hypothetical. Okay. All right. All right. Which, which is worse, lawfully and uh, lawfully compelled speech by the law, or monetarily compelled speech? So, like, if you say this thing, we'll give you money. It's okay. Like, if you have this, if you look like you have this opinion. I mean, one of them is like on this side. One of them's forcibly, and the other one's a choice, but it's like it, it's giving you an incentive. So I'd say the incentive yeah. probably is better. He's getting ready to it's release the carrot and the stick of compelled speech. What that stuff does to people. If that gas gets out there, like lo lawfully chaos. compelled is, is obviously way worse. I'm getting you out of here. Get to the elevator. Yeah. Well, yeah, I, I'd say I agree. Jim, I've rescued the second worker. I'm coming to you. What about Scarecrow? He's in the central mix. Jackson Vo, he says, you ate a uh, you ate about as maniacally fanatic as Joe Rogan once you get going, Yuri. But I'll stop him. <laughs> oh, I'm about as maniacally fanatic as Joe Rogan once I get going. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh I just don't know what the fuck I'm talking about half the time, but I'm just talking about him. Just being like, hey, this is a weird thing. Let's talk about it. Religion, weird. Talk about it. Politics, fucking weird shit. Let's talk about it. Religion is a very 
interesting concept. I should join the technician in it the is. For doing that. When you really get into it, it's, though. It, it's such like uh, there's so much deep dive when it comes to religion in terms of like specifically ideology oh, and how uh -huh. that affects people. I don't think it's a coincidence that Christianity in spite of where's the fucking but damn it here we go that Christianity the the idea of purely going on faith uh, and believing based on faith. As some of the people who are the most misguided into certain ideologies and um, beliefs, or yeah, even scams, it can be a good thing, and it, it could be a, a great thing. It could be a really bad thing. Well, I think it, it's you know just logical um, thought uh, or, or critical thinking is a skill, and the more that you do it, the more that you're able to get used to it. And and it, as someone. Or, um, well, it suppose wouldn't do that. They'd become much more easy to fall into those weird traps. Alfred. Yeah, there's Alfred. ideological possession, which uh, Jordan Peterson, it, 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 when he was saying, talked about. It was really interesting. I'm having to do a boss battle while talking about religion. <laughs> <laughs> I'm at, I'm at a point. Is like I grew up like super super Catholic uh, homeschooled, where I taught where yeah, I know some deep Catholic lore that even normie Catholics don't even know. It's not like, exclusive Catholic. to Catholicism or Christianity by any means, as there are definitely lots of people which follow things based purely on ideology. Oh yeah, but it's specifically Christian and Christian groups that always seem to have almost the worst of those elements put together, as they always seem to get. Um, like that whole um was it the whole thing that happened in 2011 with uh family radio claiming that it was going to be the end of the world oh yeah I remember or even that. like the satanic panic or the pokemon panics the other two that are really easy to go to where yep. everyone just followed what pe other christians were telling them without any critical thinking because they didn't know any better oh yeah definitely it's ideological capturing and then the purity culture. I could talk at length about that. Uh, but I will not, for the sake yeah, of for, 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 sanity like, of the stream. <laughs> probably best not to talk about that, because yeah. that's, a, that's a very deep and fucked up topic over many degrees. <laughs> yeah, like, even, even unwrapping talk that about between the... you and me. Yeah. That's... That was crazy. I think it might even get me a little bit angry, to be honest, because I have very strong opinions on... Like how how Christians view like things like sex or uh, and stuff like that. I am a and, and esp I am a especially how you've been treated as well by the church. That has especially pissed me off. Yeah, that was messed up in retrospect. But hey, I'm still breathing. I'm living. Hell yeah. Jackson Vohe says, "From what you know, would you say Christianity has done more harm or good for the world?" Seems very nah. divisive to me. Okay, I I wouldn't okay, I wouldn't ever say that Christianity is like entirely bad, because uh, I know a lot of people like to go for that really simple explanation, right? Where they they claim that they blame Christianity for all the wars and they they blame it for this that and the other, but the truth is that when people want to be assholes, they often just use Christianity as an excuse to be an asshole. Yeah, if you like, if you really wanted to, yeah. So I find it very difficult to say that if it is a great, also like a, a it's done more good than bad. It's just too difficult for me to say. Yeah, I mean, of course, if I were to answer that question, I am super, super biased because I'm Catholic. <laughs> I was born and raised Catholic. You know. The GCPD. Meanwhile, I was born Anglican and just kind of drifted into being atheist. Yeah, I'm more agnostic. Yeah. Running out of time. You're not gonna like you really don't like it when I call myself uh, an atheist. Okay, okay, because when I think of atheist, I think of a dickhead on Reddit. <laughs> being like, um, actually, uh, did you know that Jesus Christ was like... brown and he was a communist? <laughs> Fucking, I don't know, it just, <laughs> it's got a bad reputation. <laughs> but agnostic is, is most like, Most people you know who are what? atheists I don't know what I don't are mean. agnostic, though. Most people who are atheists are generally agnostic. Yeah. 
But like those who claim themselves to be agnostic are more humble about it. They're just like, well, I don't know but what I don't is, know. That's just being a, like a very technical term. Like I, I say I'm ag agnostic because I'm being very literal. Yeah. And that and making sure your uh, your family doesn't hate me. <laughs> oh, so he's uh -huh. open to being converted. I see. <laughs> 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 Oh my gosh. <sighs> I, I, I told you it was about that guy in the street. Or uh, uh, well, that evangelicalist that tried to convert me. Oh yeah! Like he gave you like a pamphlet and like prayed that like he, the, a miracle would happen. Yeah, he, so he prayed. You... To, so he, he made me... Also, he said, do you accept um, was it Christ as your Lord and Savior? And I said, uh, okay. Uh, could you repeat after me that you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. It's like, oh, okay, I, 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 I accept that Jesus Christ is my, my Lord and Savior and I accept him in my heart. Okay, okay. Um, and I, I, it was very difficult to keep a straight face during this entire thing. And he, he, he yeah. did a little prayer that he hoped that God would reveal himself to me uh, and all that. Yeah, evangelicals are like, uh, pretty rabid, you know what I mean? Like, it, like it, was, it was so strange. It's like I, I'm, I was walking in the middle of the street and I saw that it was like yeah, it was yesterday, and he was doing the same thing today, and I kind of felt sorry for the guy because he was doing it out in the rain, and no one wanted to listen to him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he kept trying to stop random families, and they, they weren't wanting any of his shit, and they just ignored him. The soldiers are covered by that. No. I'll have to take them out quick. Yeah, it's, they action. could. They could. That's the. There's. There are some evangelicals that will turn Christianity into like a sales pitch. You know. Mm. And I, I find that kind of annoying because I know some Catholics who are like that. And it's like, come on, dude, just be a real person for once. You know? I think the most scummy so uh, and ever, any Christian that's ever been towards me personally is that, like, when I've been in, like, a very difficult personal moment, they've tried to claim that be <laughs> converting to Christianity will somehow fix everything. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty scummy behavior. Don't do that. Hey, I'm 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 like crying. I've like my life's been completely wrecked and ruined. But um, hey, would you like to if you accept God as your savior, everything will become better. Yeah, that's that's the thing. It's it run. There are a lot of like, it's just run by people, you know, and people make empty promises like for their own aims. And sometimes they know it's a bad thing, but oftentimes it's just naivete, you know? Like, hmm. they have goodwill, they're just naive about it, you know? Yeah. I've been there. That's been me before. Uh, <laughs> a really cringy memory. I tried to convert well, my babysitter one time. <laughs> this is really funny. <laughs> <laughs> You get the call. Yeah. <laughs> I cringe oh, that's, thinking about that's, that. that. That's funny. That's that's actually funny. <laughs> she was like a larger black Pentecostal woman, and I'm like trying to and like explain to her Catholicism. <laughs> it's just like I was like, kid, what are you? I'm, I think back on that, and I cringe. And I'm like, kid, what were you doing? What were you doing, little child? What were you doing? Not forget your training. Gas masks useless. Respirators, you take down. But I don't think it's a good idea when ideology is the product. You know, it feels like you're selling something. Mm. It, it's not true if it's just something, it's an idea you're selling. You know, be a genuine person, damn it. You can you can have beliefs, you know, just be a genuine person because that's what matters the most. Example. You know, living by example it's, or living authentically. Being a, being it's weird a real when person. Christians view themselves as being like, I'm Christian, so therefore I'm right. Like, it's a, it's a weird got you. Yeah. Like, God there. somehow makes it so I can't possibly ever be wrong. Yeah, I've been there before. And, and that's not even an exaggeration. I was it. We, we, we've talked about people who actually believe that unironically. Mm -hmm. Yep. Like if you believe like X, Y, or Z, or think the same way that I do, like I'm protected from error, and you are more likely to be error. 
Jensen Voorhees asks, do you think Christians should apply a don't ask, don't tell policy instead of trying to convert people? Everything I hear about this makes it sound like they never mean it. You know what? It's really interesting because even, even as someone who is Christian and Catholic, you notice... You notice, like, traits and habits in non-Christians and non-Catholics that are still in line with Christianity and Catholicism. I'll give give an example. Christian and... uh, Christian. Christmas and Easter are huge national holidays, right? We get those days off, you know, uh, pretty much every single institution, you know, closes their stores, closing their doors during Easter and Christmas. Um... Even though, like, even though that those are Christian holidays, those are things that even non-Christians participate in. So, it's kind of like we live in a very Christianized Western world where it's a part of the culture. And compare that to, say, um, Islam, right? You'll have Muslims that live in the United States, but that doesn't mean that they get Ramadan off, right? They don't have Ramadan off from, like, school, or they don't have, like the the calls to prayer five days like five times a day during classes or during school they don't have that they're not a baked in part of our culture so of course when they come in they feel super alienating but then once that culture is already baked in it becomes super hierarchical so even if those that are on the outside are participating in christian traditions it's like oh you're not christian enough you have to get on my level you have to get higher you know what i mean so it's a very it's a very interesting thing. I think we're kind of we have Christian tendencies and habits by default and a lot of our ide- like natural philosophies and ideologies like the United States was founded by Christian men, you know. We find these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal by God. You know, those are things that are uh, unless just- they happen to be uh, of a certain race. Uh, true. Yeah, there, yeah, there's that too. <laughs> Well, they also t- they also deliberately refuse to teach black people from reading, so that way they didn't read the Bible and you know hear about like the story of the Exodus when the slaves were freed and all that stuff. Um, that is certainly one of the most awkward idea parts of history. Certainly. Oh, absolutely, it is. Like absolutely being a being a Christian nation. Once I and can, yeah, I can focus the, which, which is obviously very anti-slavery as as a that the bible is and yeah. yet using the bible to justify slavery yeah i mean that like really certainly... if you really think about it if you really 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 think about it you can point to anything and say the bible is cool with it like you can cherry pick anything from the bible to justify anything under the sun anything like i've heard people try to use the bible to like be like oh communism is the way oh it's fine to keep slaves oh it's fine to you know you know races aren't created equally those kinds of things Mm. not true but if you really cherry pick like like so many of the destructive cultures that came out of christianity were because of that cherry picking whether it was anti geocentric was whether it was anti heliocentricism which is the belief that the the planets revolve around the sun um they're like oh this quote says sit here or you know slave pro-slavery or anti-slavery you could justify it either way or um communism or um what's another thing that they use the bible for oh yeah the satanic panic or you know the pokemon satanic panic or you know purity culture it was all 100 percent cherry picking from the bible you can cherry pick anything from there anything um, it's just like more of a moral code, really, rather than just like a hard line, like do or don't do this. I mean, like the Ten Commandments, like really, who's gonna who's gonna argue like, oh, I think killing should be should be cool, you know? We're gonna do it. Jags and he says, didn't Gandhi once say, "I like your Christ, not your Christians." You know, you screwed up when Gandhi doesn't like you. Gandhi's you know, a complicated he, figure within himself, to be honest. But um, yeah, mm. I kind of agree with Gandhi there. I'm not gonna lie. I don't think I, I usually have a problem with um, the Bible. I usually more have a problem with Christians themselves, and usually not even Christians. Usually the 
the batshit fucking crazy Christians. In the same way, I'd have a problem with batshit crazy atheists. Oh, I because... have a problem with them too. Because, <laughs> like, I I've I argue uh, com very commonly with Christians, but I, I also take a problem with uh, certain atheist uh, ideology, yeah. which I I just find to be very f uh, like stupid. Mm -hmm. Like, there's nothing which really um, how about this? It's not really beliefs I take a problem with per se. It's more how people go about them. Uh, and the way that yeah, they often become extreme, and the certain L uh, uh, the certain what was it, uh, habits of humanity that seem to like simplifying things down to uh, feel superior in their ideology or to benefit themselves in some way. It's ideological possession. Like uh, Jordan Peterson says, you just if 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 you become the person where you just need to talk to for five minutes and pretty much it's easy to predict what you think and what you're gonna say, you're not there anymore and it's a sad situation. Um because you're not you with your own thoughts and your own feelings and your own application. You are part of a monolith. Make sense? Hmm. Yeah. Jigs and Vohi says, I'm still trying to figure out how Pokemon was demonic. Oh, just YouTube Pokemon like, Christian pastor. And if you find, like, uh, a the, video that's, like, from the 70s, like, that's the that's the one. The power, what was it? The the power that's inside, that's the power of the demon. The power they, they, that's inside, that's they, the they, power they capture, of the demons. They capture that's how demons. they're gonna get your children. And then, like, all the Christian moms are cr clutching their pearls, like, oh, no! Well, no, you just need baby. something that's unknown and that you can get people to fear about, and you can manipulate them for various uh, means, where you can make them... Like, either for people to give you donations or just to fear you. Right. And you have to, like, bring about a fear more of demons than of people, because then you're just... If you bring about a fear of demons more than, you know, a fear of practical things, then you're going to cause a paranoia of everything, right? So if you're like, oh, X, Y, and Z is demonic, then you think, like, demons are everywhere, like... And then it's like, oh, the names of demons and the, the spells you can do to conjure demons and, oh, you gotta do these prayers so that way you don't have these kinds of demons attached to you. Oh, you don't want a marine demon or, like, a, the noonday spirit or the, the fucking... Like, there are different... I used to study this. Uh, like, not actually study it. I just listened to some, extra, like, Catholic exorcists that would, like, name out the different kinds of demons and how they can get attached to you and how to get them detached. Like, that was, like, a whole... Keep thing that I used to be into. But then it's like you're you think the problem is the idea that you're in like some kind of secret society, that you being part of this group and having this secret knowledge makes you better than everybody else. Or that you have and then 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 you're not seeing the world as it actually is anymore. You're seeing it in the this very confined lens of uh of of oh there's demons everywhere and you oversimplify it. it makes it easy it makes the world so easy if you could just simplify everything down to oh these are easy problems to point to oh it's not that you have bad decisions that you're poor oh it's that you have a demon attached to you that you're poor oh it's not that you have a shitty car that keeps breaking down oh it's that there's a demon in your car and you need to get that exercised you know mm -hmm. yeah Man, we got into... Oh, yeah, though, Jackson Vohees. Even when I believed more, I couldn't take Christians seriously when they said monster drinks were satanic. <laughs> yeah. I knew some actual people who thought monster drinks were satanic. I bet... Have you seen uh, that video of, like, that lady... At one point, Christianity has claimed something has, has been dem demonic at one point or another. Like, Dungeons and Dragons, video games. We've been there with... Um... Like Pokemon, yeah, yeah, all all kinds of weird stuff. If you don't understand it and you're not into it, it's satanic. You know, the internet satanic. I have no idea. It's my fault they took her. The freaking Pokemon satanic. 
Dungeons and Dragons, Satanic. Oh shit, I just blew myself up. <laughs> Whoopsie. I just exploded myself. You, you, got, you gotta move very slowly. You have nothing to be afraid of anymore. Yo, I'm not gonna lie, this villain actually looks freaking cool. He looks awesome. But yeah, um, I used to have high anxiety, and guess what I thought it was? I thought it was fucking demons. <laughs> I thought I had demons, dude. It wasn't demons, dude. I was just making myself afraid of shit, you know? Can't live through your life afraid. That's no way to live. Oh, then we've gotten to in such a meta, right? We've gotten to such a meta at this point. Catholics, some some very extreme Catholics will claim that Protestants are satanic, mm -hmm. and Protestants will point at Catholics and be like Catholicism is satanic. Just to like keep each other away I always, from each other. The, the funniest thing I always find is that one of the things that always happen is that to tr to scare people away from doing things. That that's what Protestants do. Oh yeah, that's what Protestants do. Don't Protestants do that? Yeah, I've heard that before. I was like, oh, I'm gonna read the Bible. I, I told some Catholic, I was like, oh, I'm gonna read the Bible and just you know see what it says. You know, see what I can glean from it. And they're like, oh, but like you need some you need someone to interpret it for you. That's what Protestants do. And I'm like. So fucking what? That's what Protestants do. You're supposed to read the Bible. You know they're not secondary sources. You know. Well, we're, ha we're having this emotional moment where Batman, Batman sacrificing himself. <laughs> oh. Like music's <laughs> going on. Alfred's like, Bruce, please don't uh, save yourself right now. I music's would going. Not do that. Why? Because I'm Batman. I will insert this very long, very hard looking bomb into this hole this very deep cavernous hole oh, I so love this, this is like the death of batman yeah James and Vohis, a surprisingly large amount of bikers are believers yeah what's up with that a lot of like motorcyclist gangs are Christian. There's, there's a lot of criminals that are weirdly Christian. <laughs> uh -huh. me. Oh my gosh! It wasn't the bomb, it was the Joker? Jigs and Vo, he says, Batman's canonically Christian or Catholic. He'll be okay. <laughs> okay, Jigs. Tyler Preston also said heavy metal fans and players are also very Catholic. Yeah. That's always been something that's been kind of funny. The idea of um, Catholic, also like Christian criminals, especially the like Catholic yeah. criminals. Like when, when you look at like uh, the Irish mob. Mm -hmm. Or like the it's, Mexican cartel. Yeah. The, the, the very strongly Catholic and yet very much believing in violent murder and crime. Yeah, like you'll see vi like video of like a guy with Our Lady of Guadalupe tattooed on his arm, and he's like, you know, he's, he's killed a fifty people. Am I supposed to right. Get I mean, that, I think that's a situation where it becomes mostly a cultural thing rather than an actual ideological thing, like an actual mm. ideology. You know, so we kind of touched on this how cat how. Um, Hispanic Catholicism feels very different from European Catholicism. We've kind of touched on that before in the past, but we didn't elaborate on it. Um, European Catholicism, interestingly enough, I've, I've dabbled into both. I grew up in Hispanic Catholicism, and I kind of, like, eventually, like, meandered into European Catholicism and American Catholicism. Like, Latin Catholicism... It's like it's a part of us, right? It's something that's a part yeah, of you, definitely. right? It's something that, you know, they can never take away from you. That's something that it's as natural as the air we breathe, as the food we eat, you know? It's something that it's it brings us together. It's something that brings us joy and brings us 
love and togetherness rather than, you know, it's something that we maintain and we follow the rules. It's where European Catholicism and, and American Catholicism, it's more like a maintenance thing, right? You're either in or you're out, right? There's no in between. Fuck you. Like, you're not as Catholic as I am. You're not cat. You might as well not be Catholic at all. You know? Me already, Ben? Oh, it's you, Commissioner Boredom. Who's that? These are. Well, we're about to explain. They've been infected with the Joker's blood. Oh. So, in the last game, the Joker sent his blood around the city of Gotham to random uh, his hospitals and, and stuff, which led to these people who became infected with the Joker's blood. Oh. Thank God. You have to get me out of the here. Joker virus. I can imagine Donald Trump. First we have the China virus. Now we have the Joker virus. And now they're running rampant in our streets. We need we need to we need to empower these caps so that way they take them down. And this is a ter- this is a terrible That's a terrible Donald Trump impression. Trump voice. I know. Jackson Vohe says Robin Hood was a Catholic criminal. I don't know, dude. I've never read it. Well, Tyler he's, Preston a, says, he's a fictional person. Yeah, well. Tyler Preston says, have you actually read the Bible, Shimey? It's metal AF. Yeah, parts of it are. I remember reading parts of it, and I, I know certain stories from like here and there. But I've never read it like like side to, like page to page. Oh yeah, and I've had it well, read to me sometimes. Like I at think church. very few pers- people have read it cover to cover. Let's be real now. I've never. I haven't even read it cover to cover. I'm glad you came, Jim. I don't think anybody I know has actually read it cover to cover. It's the most quoted it's book in history, but yet probably people. the least thoroughly written re- read. Joker sent his infected blood. Well, the least thoroughly the read. In the state. I know. We tracked it all down. We it's missed the most quoted book in history, Ow. and yet the least Hospital. thoroughly read. Transfusion Here we go. went unrecorded. Five people were affected. Untreated. The blood's gestated too long. It's altering them. They're becoming... Joker. My God. It's a form of Kreutzfeld Jakob. I got a little Pokemon, Batman. Pokemon. What about that one? He doesn't look like the others. <laughs> Henry Adams. He's been infected the longest, but he's symptomless. He's immune. Blood. He's immune to the hydrocephalus. The freaking... Oh, cordyceps. My bad. <laughs> hydrocephalus. Do you know what hydrocephalus is? Henry's the key. To no. All this. Hydrocephalus is like a condition, like a rare condition where like babies will have like fluid in their brains and it makes their heads really big and it has to be drained out. You can't hold him here against. Yeah, that's messed up. Anyway, <laughs> we can't let him go until we save the others. Wait, you said Got a little Pokemon Batman. There's one missing. You should love repeating that over and over, over again. I got a little punny. I got a little punny back. No, Joker. <laughs> You'll be here. Soon. I saw that like really well animated version of that on Twitter. Oh, it's so good, man. It's so funny. <laughs> so Ooh. it has no right being that well animated. Bruce. Can you hear me, Bruce? Is Mark Hamill voicing this? Joker yeah, right yeah. Well, it, it's the same Joker as the last one. This is just in his head. Ah, he's not real. <laughs> Phrasing. <laughs> Don't you feel me deep inside you, Bruce? A darker We can come back to this later. First, we need to agree on some priority. Sure, you saved the city by reducing the blast, but Ace. Oh, so this is like inside his head. Yeah, the Joker isn't real. He, well, he's we're in the real world, but after all, you're brooding for two now. 
<laughs> also, uh, he, he's not really there. Also, so the joke is not there. He's, he's just a, gotcha. a vision. Alex Halo says he will never voice Joker again. Is that true? It better not Yeah, be. after Kevin Conroy died, um, he said no! that well, uh, Mark Hamill said that he would never voice Joker again. Aww. He said that the only reason why he continued doing Joker was that he always wanted, he, he would ask who's doing Batman, and if it was Kevin Conroy, then he would do it. Oh, but, so he died, and yeah. Why the fuck can't I jump? Let me jump, assholes. There we go. We're at two hours and fifteen minutes. I'm gonna give it. What do you think of like going to three hours? What do you think? Oh yeah, I suppose it's the birthday stream, so we can go for three hours. Cool. Jags and Vo, he says, have you noticed that people keep misusing the when everyone's super, no one will be quote. Misusing it? I just, I just start noticing a lot of patterns when, you know, when everyone tries to follow a trend, then the trend's not cool anymore. It's just about, everyone... uh, a, a nature of uh, a, how humans tend to work is that things stop being special if there's too much of it. It's uh, supply and demand. Yeah, when everyone's dancing the Fortnite floss, <laughs> and no one will be special. I don't, I don't know. Oh, thank God. When the explosion, I thought you might be. It's okay, Alfred. I managed. To Is the voice of this Batman Kevin Conroy? Yes. Oh, that's sad. I, I don't know why I feel weird about like hearing a dead man's voice. Like even if it's a recording or something that was made in the past, you know. It feels weird. It's okay. I had a bad reaction. But it's over now. I've really got a hand to Scarecrow. I've never been a fan of his concoctions up till now, but this batch, it's uh, <laughs> intoxicating. I guess you could say it's bat making you batshit crazy. <laughs> that was a very uh, bad joke, I'm sorry. You know what I said? Commissioner Gordon has been trying to contact you. Thanks, Alfred. Jim. You got out. See, I said you wouldn't let me down. I need so to we got 45 you. minutes until me Shiny outside. lets down Meet his uh, his English <laughs> accent and he does his real American accent. It's letting y'all know. <laughs> Damn it, you, you're putting me on the spot. <laughs> I, I can't do an American accent without warming up first. I can't do it on demand. <laughs> you you only can honest. seem to do the southern Man. one instead of like the normy one. I, I've done, like, a, a more subtle sort of, like, New York accent before, but I can't do it on demand. I can't, yeah, I'm the same. I can't do an English accent unless I'm, like, like really into it, and I cannot sound like a normal British person. I have to sound like a freaking angel or something like that. You, you can do a lip dev and do the Australian, well, English. Austral English, yeah. <laughs> Oh. Tyler Preston says Shiny's actually a Southern Belle. Well, how about that, sweetheart? You're Southern Belle. Here in the deep south of the USA, we we the oh, fuck out. No, that's terrible. What happened to it? <laughs> Jackson Bowie says, "Nah, Shiny's an Aussie. It's only natural for a British adjacent country." I good I might. No, I mean, I'm, I'm genu genuinely stumped. I'm, I'm trying to think how. Like, damn it! I've done this before. It's weird because I remember when we were doing that. Um, we, we were watching all the stuff that was to do with um, that. What happened in Glasgow? And I, I kept oh, yeah. doing on the point Scottish accents. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And I even managed to do a Glaswegian accent fucking perfectly, and I can't repeat that for some reason. <laughs> Glaswegian. Cool. That's a Matt funny Matt Daddy and his cousin <laughs> uh, Gun. I don't want your limey gun, I want my big American gun. 
Jackson Bo, he says, can you do a spicy mamacita accent? What does that mean? I don't know. What does that mean? Does he mean like a, like a, like a Latin, like an, like a Latin, like a, like a Hispanic accent? Oh my gosh. I can only, I only do the Hispanic accent with like my Spanish speaking relatives. Oh, I'm not sure if I can recreate it. That was a bad day. Fun though. Oh man. Oh, Batman's here. What's wrong, Jim? Come on, you're scaring me. It's Barbara. She's been taken. I mean, I you know what? You know what's weird? I can read in Spanish. I cannot speak it. Stay and calm. I cannot understand it. Which is weird. Which I can one? read it. You'll need Duolingo. This stream is sponsored by Duolingo. <laughs> this stream is sponsored by Duolingo. Enter the code. Uh, uh, Shiny's suit is the best suit. And get 15% off your next... Uh, off of the next three months subscription. Fuck it. I'm sorry. <laughs> Jim, I need you to stay focused. It's dangerous out there. When of Steus. Slow and let me deal with um, why are you this uh, what, what's, no what's, what's, is, is Puta a, a, a bad word? Yes, and <laughs> you pronounced <laughs> it so badly. <laughs> uh, what, what, how, how are you supposed to say it? Just say, just say pendejo. Pendejo. Yeah. <laughs> what, what does Puta mean? <laughs> Puta means, Puta means whore. Oh. <laughs> 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 Puta means whore. Oh my gosh, I remember when someone like finessed someone online. Someone got finessed online by like calling their mom that, thinking it was a term of endearment. Oh. Oh gosh. And then there's pendejo, which basically just means like, oh, you asshole, or like you jerk, or something like that. What's nehad? What? What's nehad? Nehad? I remember hearing Nehad. that. Nehad. Like you're saying it in like a super <laughs> super English speaking accent. Like super I, I... super shit. Nehad? Can you spell it? I, no, I can't spell. I, I've I've only okay. The, my most exposure to Spanish is Breaking Bad and <laughs> uh -huh. uh, what was it Red versus Blue? Okay, interesting. I have no idea what. Get in the back mobile. I'll take Ni ni Get no in the car, that. Jim. I have no idea what that word is supposed to be. Jim, get in the car. I have to stay in the back mobile and protect. <laughs> Jackson Volke says, "Call him an essay." <laughs> you didn't even spell it right. <laughs> that's an essay. That's like a. I, like I a can write an pieces. essay. <laughs> <laughs> I think like essay is supposed to be like a hey, ASA, how's it going, man? It's like well, a time. like a Mexican term meaning like fucking like hey buddy, how's it going? I don't know, I have no idea. Are you, in a college, <laughs> I knew a kid I knew a guy called uh, Alejandro and he was Spanish. But from Spain. Mm. Oh from Spain. A they real Spaniard. Yes, is it, so, okay, Spain so Spanish? Is, yeah. is Spain Spanish a bit like it was it uh, English English? England English? Like, is it is it considered like posh? By... Is it considered posh? No, not particularly. It's like it's like how we think of like Australians more like. It's just a different way. It's a different dialect. Um. I've had my grandma explain to me like the different dialects. My grandma says she does not like Puerto Rican Spanish. She really liked the Spanish of my grandfather and she really fell for him. One of the reasons was because of his beautiful voice and his accent. Um, and it's, then he had like a he had like a very. So what nice you're saying thing. is that she's biased. Yes, yes, she is. Uh, he was actually a newscaster, my grandfather. So he had like this beautiful radio voice, according to her. Um, well. I remember what my grandfather sounded like. Yeah, he had an amazing freaking voice. He he sounded amazing. You know who he sounded like? He sounded like Burst Angel 15. And it, it he's been on the Jay Longbone podcast and he has like 
he's the he's the Cuban guy. I think he's Cuban, and he has almost the same exact accent. He reminded me of my grandfather. Amazing. Um, so, you know, she 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 said that he his his Spanish was very educated sounding, very very posh. Um, and it, it's it's like the more of the Colombian Spanish. She said she really liked the Colombian dialect. Uh, because the way that they really pronounce everything really well. Did you know that in Spain, their Spanish sounds like they have a lisp on purpose? Like they don't pronounce their S's. They pronounce it with a T-H. So it's not gras it's not gracias. It's gracias. Which sounds kind of dumb. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> it's not zapatos. It's zapatos. Which I'm I'm overpronouncing it just to make my point. Were you not listening this whole time? <laughs> yeah, I wasn't really listening. I usually just tune you out occasionally. <laughs> oh, jeez, thanks. You know Appreciate what they that. say about women. You know, you, 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 they're really really good for looking at and not listening to. <laughs> it's like I'm some kind of piece of meat. Well, I feel like in technical terms. <laughs> uh huh. Are you not made of meat? Get a grip, man. We are all made of meat. Oh shit! I will cut off your meat. Slice it right off. I did not see those three guys with guns standing right there. <laughs> Surprise! And no one really does. Jackson Vo, he says, how do you say Harry Butt in Spanish? Grassy ass. This isn't over. Yeah. Yeah. There was a there was a joke that was going around in Spanish ever since Facebook changed their name. Do you remember Facebook changed their name? Um to Meta. Yeah, and the joke is meta mis huevos en tu boca, <laughs> which means putting putting these nuts in your mouth. <laughs> oh, I, I remember you already told me that joke. Yep, <laughs> I've told that joke on stream before. Tyler Preston says Shiny's the worst Batman since George Clooney. Just for George Clooney. Just George. I will admit, George Clooney. He's kind of cute, though. He's kind of cute. Kind of have a crush on George Clooney. He's a dilf, and I'm pretending he's, and I'm tired of pretending he's not. Nobody's pretending he's not. What if I played the uh, Harley DLC? The Harley DLC? Yeah, why not? Yeah, sure, why not? If you want to. So, well, that's a good way to end it. It probably lasts about half an hour. Jags and Vo, he says, I'm told you're an avid enjoyer of nut pudding. What? That's what Jags and Vo, he says. I got a bad feeling about this. We don't have the facilities. Nut pudding. Is that Yorkshire the... pudding? That's not Yorkshire pudding. Transferred the black no, it's not your... definitely not Yorkshire pudding. She doesn't tear down the Bloodhaven Police Department first. I'm here to crash the party. Ready to have a little fun, Mr. J? Okay, Donut Dunkers. You gonna bring Ivy to me, or am I gonna have to get her myself? Your... That is a hell of a bug. <laughs> Just saying. Oh, that's what you notice. I mean, who said a villain, a villainess, couldn't be also kind of fine? You know what I mean? That was. She just kicked him in the nuts. <laughs> kicked him in the nuts. Nuts are funny. I'm not gonna lie. 
Yeah, hit a woman, that's rude. It's kind of fun how all the different characters have their own animation. It is really cool. It took Harley, uh, Jackson Vohe says, it took Harley until Kill the Justice League to realize how sexist her costumes were. Oh, yeah, because Kill the Justice League is um, still, is technically canon. I say technically, because for some reason they decided to make it canon. They made it canon? Uh, yeah, it's it's canon to this world, and it doesn't make any fucking sense because they they don't take this version of Harley. They literally just make uh like the box standard Harley that you get every every, every fucking time now. No, I don't like that Harley. Like that's not the real Harley. It just feels like, yeah. It's like, it's the flanderized idea of Harley. The, it's weird. The cartoon original Harley, the cartoony Harley, has more depth than the supposed deep emancipated Harley. Why? Kill me. Kill me. Kill me. Why she put it down like that? <laughs> I don't know. She really wants to show off her ass, I guess. <laughs> You didn't even bend her knees. Jackson Vohe says, Is it sexist to hit you? Is it more sexist to not hit you? The lines, they're very blurry. Wade Wilson. How much to get you on my payroll? Who's Wade Wilson? Um, uh, Deadpool. Hmm? Deadpool. Oh, Deadpool. That's Marvel, though. Yeah. Alex Halo sent me a Spanish VTuber clip in Discord. Let's go. I have not been into VTubers, but I have liked Miss Lala. Miss Lala. Every she's like time a... she's listened to her radio, she does the butt swaying. The butt swiggle. Yeah, the butt swiggle. <laughs> Sometimes you just walk around doing the butt swiggle. Sometimes I walk around my house just doing a little butt swiggle. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Loud takedown. <laughs> no Damn, silent takedown. Face. Shit. She doesn't, yeah, she doesn't even do a silent takedown like uh, Catwoman does. She just goes wham. She's very big and very loud and always having fun. Catwoman really likes the leg takedowns. She does. She likes smothering you with them thighs. Worth it. I mean, if you got the thighs, you can do it. You know what I mean? I wouldn't blame you. These are some shit police officers getting their ass handed to them by Harley Quinn. Oh shit, right there, right? No, I'm, I shouldn't have talked shit. They're right there. <laughs> Spoke to you soon, huh? Oh, mayhem. Oh, oh wait, wait, wait. I'm, I'm, I'm wasting. Oh shit, I didn't realize this was a thing. What is what, happening? What happens? I, I think I'm in mayhem mode. I just take them down instantly. Oh, awesome. Oh, Jackson this, this is like. Oh, sorry. Go I was about to run out. No, I can't get to them before. Shit. Never mind. All right, yeah. So, so Jason, he says. he says your avatar looks ready-made for a VTuber model, Eerie. Also, how do I join your Discord? Oh, okay. Let me send you. Let me send my Discord link in the chat, if that's okay with Shiny, because I know this is yes. his channel. Let's see. Let's, let's see. Let me send you an invite, buddy. I think you should have mod status, so you should be able to post links in the, the chat. Oh, cool. Uh, how do I share a link? Well, you, you get an invite from the server. 
I know. I'm just trying to find how to get the link to the inv oh, invite people. Here we go. We got to copy this. We got to go to shiny stream because I am strictly on stream right now. Um, okay. All right, I'm going to leave my link in the chat, Jason. You just stop on by my appointed name. If it decides, if the chat decides to load today, you know. I haven't even looked yeah. in your Discord for bloody ages. I look uh, at it even... every now and again. I'm a yeah. ghost, you know. <laughs> I just take a peek every now and again. Oh, there we go. The only Discord I've been looking at so far is our DMs, you know. <laughs> yeah. That's mostly where we hang out. Oh. Fuck. Shit, they're really not happy. I Oh, here we go. The chat's working now. All right, there we go. I left my, my invite link in the chat. Jags and Vohi says Eerie vo Eerie's voice could be a good replacement for a flander flanderized... Flanderized Harley. She sounds delightfully manic at her best. Yeah, she kind of does, doesn't she? <laughs> well, you, I think she, I think they're talking about you. Oh, I sound like a flanderized Harley. Well, thank you. At least they sound similar. Well, you have a slight New York accent. Uh, that's why I think. Oh yeah. <laughs> So do your Harley accent again, because I know you've done a, a pitch perfect one before. Okay. You want me to do my Harley accent, Shiny? I could do that anytime for you. <laughs> I'll always love Mr. J. He will always be forever in my heart. I like to drink water in my coffee. I, I feel like that's the perfect like, skit voice. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Jackson Vo, he says, "Shiny just coomed <laughs> the coomer brain." Well, Eerie does have a very beautiful way. voice. Oh, thank you, Shiny. I love internet words. They're so they could be so weird, and then they they go out of fashion so quickly, like coomer or noticer or uh, like riz. The Joker riz me up, and he just became a coomer, and he doesn't like me anymore. I'll make him like me. <laughs> Don't you want to ride your Harley? Uh, Harley is such a fun character to, to imitate. He is. Jax and Vohees, I wish Sus would stick around. Why Sus? Sus came from from Among Us. Amogus. Amogus. Do 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 do. Trouble in Terrace Town's better than uh, Among Us. Fight me. Trouble in Terrace Town is it Among Us but like different? It's like it's the original um I jam the elevator. Hear that, Quinn? We got you now. Uh, was it like it was an imposter game? Ah, I see. It wasn't its own game, it was uh more of a, a game mode that was player created inside of uh Gary's mod using Trouble in Terrace Town. No, not Trouble in Terrace, sorry, that's the TTT. Um, that you was using Counter Strike uh, assets. Oh, okay. A lot of people use Gary's mods to make their game, huh? Like, uh, like Stanley Parable. Yeah, that was originally a Gary's mod thing. Hey, what a she just fell a long distance. and was completely fine. <laughs> He's like a cat. Like a cat woman. Jackson Vogue, he says, I see Shiny as more of a scooter man. 
a scooter man. A what? Tiny. A scooter man. Because we were talking about how you rode a scooter drunk and almost got run over. Is that what he's referencing? I think. I don't. Uh, that seems like a very long time ago to reference. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> she just just <laughs> baseball bat to the balls. <laughs> like, and again. Baseball bat to the balls. Also, I'm surprised these animators um, managed to get so much work done, considering they probably did this with one hand. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh, Jackson Vohe says he meant the ride your Harley bit. Oh, okay. You want to ride your Harley? <laughs> I love Tara Strong. I love her her voicing. I I love the original person who voiced Harley as well. I like her more because you know, of course, I, I'm I'm very biased for original things. <laughs> But I really like Tara's impression. Like, Tara's... <laughs> What's the word I'm looking for? Her impression? Her... Her take? I don't know. What's the word? I'm not helping you out. It's far, far more funny to let you just keep trying to come up with the word. Just flounder. Just verbally flounder. Hey, Harley! I hope Joke is suffering in fucking hell! That's a cruel thing to say about my Mr. J. I have oh, she's an SJW in this one, too. Turn it off. It's woke now. It's woke now, shiny. Turn it off. Hey, what she did asked she say? for rights. Oh, she was like, oh, oh. I have rights, too. <laughs> it's woke now. You got to turn this shit off. You got to turn it off. <laughs> it's a bad game. Zero out of ten. <laughs> Giving my my critical drinker critical drinker analysis <laughs> zero out of ten. Uh, what has critical drinker become? He used to be like, you know, more of a free thinker, and now he just kind of calls everything woke if it just has the right bullet points. What happened to my guy? Weren't you just talking about critical drinker not too long ago? Not. On the stream, no, I don't think so. Oh. I'm owning you, coppers. You Tyler back. Preston says, Harley, you know that washing machines don't have rights. <laughs> dishwashers. Yeah, dishwashers. Well, he, dishwashers he is a better joke. Machine. Yeah, dishwashers is a better joke. Jackson Vohe it, says... A, a dishwasher can be both a machine and it can be a job. And? Yeah, yeah. How contrary, Penguin. It's like Joker always said. If it ain't complicated, it ain't fun. Is that what he always says? I guess so. If it ain't so. complicated, it ain't fun. No, he was so profound. Jackson Vohe says that Drinker announced his retirement? No way. Didn't he just, like, write a movie recently? Come to free me. Mm -hmm. Again. Come on, we got the back corner! Free scumbags, it's the cops! Oh, awesome, you're in mayhem mode now. In the bum. Just instant takedown. Line, Quinn. Hello, Nightbutt. It's Nightwing! I freaking love Nightwing. You just like his ass and the fact that he's a... Was it, a, was it a, a, a white guy? With a mask that's as good enough to be glasses. Damn it! You got me! Damn it! And he's also kind of oblivious, isn't he? Hey, 
Ah, shit, he's kind of kicking my ass. Ow, he's, he, he's a bit annoying. He's... I hate those fucking electro staffs or whatever the fuck they are. Ah! No, get out of here. Get No, fuck. Couldn't get away in time. Oof. Tyler Preston asks, wasn't Grayson supposed to be Romanian? Is he Romanian? Was he? I don't think so. Wait, wait, wait. Night Nightwing is the grandfather of D&D? &D? Wait, d wait, does that mean Harley and Dick Grayson got together? Wait, what the fuck? Huh? Huh? What? Huh? Wait, because D D and D. Oh, we're the is, twins, is, right? Is, yeah, they, they were the twins, and they what was it their grandmother was Harley. Huh? Huh? So wait, if if you're claiming that he was the grandfather, then that would mean how that Harley and Nightwing got together. Who else are you working for? Yeah, or it could have just been that Harley carried his children from that one time. In that one spin-off. Oh shit! Of that one yeah, you're right. Movie. That that one Move time on. and joke was it Batman and Harley Quinn that they had <laughs> oh, <no>. sex. <laughs> yep. Ah fuck. Uh oh. Uh oh. I'm gonna fucking hate this this fight scene. Ah, uh, because if oh, if you geez. attack him too many times, he'll he'll hit you by default. Damn it! Fucking piece of shit! I hate this guy now. Oh, I, I, yeah, the, the Batman and Harley Quinn film is, is just a pile of shit. He just called her a harlot. Man, it's, Bruce Tim was really good in Batman the Animated Series, but then when they were like, Bruce Tim, you can do whatever you want. You're you're free to go. This isn't for kids anymore. He just like, I. Well, Let me go he was always a really horny fucker, and then he just managed <laughs> that because yeah. like, oh, all, all the audience for Batman the Animated Series are grown up now. It's just interesting how when you're supposed to be more kid friendly, you have to get more creative and nuanced. Ah. Kind of like Avatar: The Last Airbender, right? Like they couldn't say the word kill. They couldn't say kill in like an active context. So they had to make up creative ways to say, I'm going to kill the Fire Lord or I'm going to end your life. You know, I will make sure you're annihilated on the spot. Now it sounds cool. That sounds metal, you know? But then like the live action, the dark live action I came fucking, out. It's like, I, I fucking hate cool. this. You, you hit him once, he's like, oh, I, I attack you. You have to constantly jump out of his way, attack him from behind, and hope you don't. You need to get out of the way until, ah, oh, fuck off, don't accidentally hit him. Or just don't even let, let him get close. Man, He's our really gal is holding life. her own. You go. He's, if he hits me one more time, ah, oh, shit. And you can't quit animations halfway through. Is there a way to bring your health back up? Nope. Jags and Vohies, they did say kill only once, but in the context of like a joke. It was like, oh, he's gonna kill me. And he... oh, fuck, no, missed the. Sh uh, shit. You know? Look at you. Just as useless as the Joker. My only regret is I didn't kill him myself. Damn, he cold. He cold. Why do you gotta be so cold to my Mr. J? To my pudding? Nightwing losing to, to Harley's gotta be a real fucking embarrassment, ain't it? <laughs> it's gotta be. <laughs> I got beat by a girl. Kind of 
just hardly know how to fight. Well, um, I have no idea. She just uses her psychotic moves. Being incredibly flexible, I guess. That, that's that's her power. I can say that about Catwoman too. I suppose. Ah, fuck off with your shit. Ah, fuck off. Just gonna protect the law by breaking it. Come at me, bro. Hey, by the way, did you hear that uh, Kate Middleton has cancer? Yeah, well, we, we talked about this la like last time. Did we talk about this in the last... No, yes, no, no. we did. We, 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 talked, we talked about we Kate talked... Middleton's disappearance, and then afterwards we talked about the... Uh, the fact that she had cancer because that was released. The... Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know how I feel about, you know, them having to, like, come out about it. Because, you know, on the one hand, they're public figures. But on the other hand, aren't they kind of entitled to privacy if they want it? Couldn't they be just like, hey, public. Uh, well, no, because if, if they don't business. tell the public anything, then people go, oh, she's been uh, assassinated or she's dead or something. And they're keeping it on the down low. Right. Oh, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> Ow, fuck off. Fucking, there we go. Down he goes. All right, you did it. Need some help? Well, well, ain't that a bloody surprise? Now grab Ivy and bring her outside. I got a car waiting for you. Scarecrow will be very pleased with our work. All right. And uh, we still got ten minutes. We'll, we'll, we'll yeah, do part of ten ones. minutes. Okay. Hey, did you know that uh, Starfire, right, the one who who is who got together with Nightwing, mm -hmm. her, she, like her original design was based off of a Puerto Rican supermodel. Yeah, isn't that crazy? Mm -hmm. I was like, "Yo, represent! Let's go!" The entrance to Riddler's robot factory is hidden in here. Key cards on the goo. There's a reason why we won, you know, Miss. And he's still what was it? Miss Universe, like five times. Can't let him see me. Easy. Yeah, Puerto Rico won Miss Universe like three to five times, I think. Everybody got their key cards. Yeah, good. Yeah, I I, I got saw immediately the moment I went outside that fucking vent. Mm hmm. You know, it's funny, because only when Harley is on the phone does she do her little sachet walk. Meanwhile, Catwoman just does it unprovoked. Yeah, All the time. We have got it made. Would have to She's always her doing her little sachet, sachet walk. We're getting paid tonight, boys. We're getting paid. One down. Jacksonville, he says, didn't people say Starfire was originally black? I remember seeing a comic panel on Twitter somewhere. Yeah, no, she wasn't. That was a lie. Everyone just, like, saw she had big hair and was like, ah, black. And has, she black she had really hair, which, of course, apparently to them means black. <laughs> yeah. But no, she was based off of... Hang on, what was... I'm gonna look her up. I'm gonna look her up. Oh shit. Didn't mean to do that. I'll try to come down behind him. Oh, I found her. Uh she was based off of the Puerto Rican showgirl Irish Chacon. Can't 
can't let him or see. Or Iri Chacon. Iri Chacon. Chacon. Everybody got their key cards? Yeah. Also, it's it's again weird to ascribe race to uh to, to she's an alien. An alien. Yeah. Yeah, she's she's orange. She's the Donald Trump race. <laughs> orange man, bad. Well, how do you feel about orange woman? <laughs> Why'd you put so much sex on that? <laughs> she's the same race as. Uh, who am I thinking of? Of Ahsoka Tano. They're both orange women. I'm calling it. They're both Tamaranian. Hashtag not all orange. Also, ta ta Tamaranian, like tamarind, like ta tam tamarind. That's actually a fruit. That's actually a, a, a South American fruit, like a like a tamarindo, like a, a tamarind. It's really good, by the way. A tambourine. Like think, tamarind. Like, think tamarind. Uh, no, it's not tambourine, silly. <laughs> Speaking of Teen Titans, Terra in the comics slept with Slade Wilson. No, she did not. No, the fuck she did not, Tyler. No way. She was always with Beast Boy, not Slade? Why Slade? Why? Still I know that in one of the animated films... You've got the keys. Like, okay. Back to the terminal, Selena. I, I don't know about the, the original comic, but in one of the animated films... Like it's suggested that she has a crush on him and he has no interest in her, but I think that might be a change from the the comic. That's weird. That's weird. That'll always be weird. Why is it always three keys? Here we go. Why is it always three keys? No idea. You know what? Okay, what age would you guess Azula is? Better take them out before from Azula Avatar from Last Airbender. Avatar Last yeah. Airbender? Yeah. <sighs> Is she Zuko's like, older or younger sister? No, she's older, well, right? Yeah, well, I'm not telling you. I think she looks like she's 17. I always thought that she was the oldest out of the cast, but when I looked it up, apparently she's supposed to be 14, which is the same age as Zuko. I was like, that's what? weird. I always thought she was older than Zuko, and she always appeared. Like, I always knew that Katara was 14. But no and then, like, way. Aang was supposed to be 12. But like, yeah, yeah I, I, I looked it up, and people were claiming that, oh, she's supposed to be like the same age as Zuko and Katara. It's like, that, that's huh. fucking weird as hell. How is she the same age as Zuko? Are they twins? I don't know. Like, she, she isn't she like taller? She comes across a lot more mature. Yeah, she looks like an old. She's like an older sister type deal. Like I, I don't know. She, she always. I always thought she was like seventeen ish. She's fourteen, and and then why does Ty Lee feel like she's younger than her though? Very weird. Yeah. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. No, you don't. I see you, Catwoman. Oh, Jackson Vohi says oh, Zuko's the older brother, though. That's why he was next in line to the throne. Uh, well. I, I would have thought that's just because he's a man. Yeah, I would have thought that too. I would have thought that too. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Uh, Jackson Vohi says, I don't know, Twitter in Rule 34 always says that Beast Boy is paired up with Raven. I don't know, man. I don't feel like they have chemistry. I don't feel it. They only have chemistry and like I, I think it's funny that they they made Raven from Teen Titans. Uh, was it like eighteen? <laughs> oh, did they? Yeah, that would make sense. I I think they were trying to play it safe. <laughs> very very safe. Teen Titans eighteen Titans. How about that? How about that? Be careful! Careful, children. 
Well, isn't there a, a scene where she gets stripped or something like that? Oh, oh, oh yeah, there was. Yes. Was. You, you told me about that. Yeah, there was. And it was like implied she was kind of assaulted, but it was implied in like a show for like 12 to like 17 year olds. Like 13 to 17 year olds. Yeah. It was supposed to be analogous to like assault. Because then she was like really mentally messed up after that. All right, we got one more minute. What do you think, Shiny? I, I think I can take them out in that time. All right, let's see you do it. Okay, one minute. Let's go. Let's go get focus. Okay, there's focus, three more guys. They're pretty close. I'll watch your back. This is these two. No, no. The music keeps doing this wow thing. It's kind of annoying, I'm not gonna lie. All right, one more, one more. Is, it, oh. is he dropped? Oh, did I not beat the timer? <laughs> you didn't beat the timer. I have no idea why I had a timer set for 8.30, though. Dun, 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 dun. Boom! Always That's with the it. legs. Always with the leg takedowns. <laughs> she likes those. That's the idiot. Uh -huh. Now for the door. She she at least make wants to make the experience of going out at least a little a little nice. Can you think well, of a that, better that, way that, to that's, go? That's why um that's why they never fight back. That's why they never fight back. <laughs> Let's see switches and symbols, of course. Why is it never a lock? I can pick locks with my claws. Robot. <laughs> Ow. What am I missing? Okay, so, so robot. Need to figure out the right order, I guess. Griffin, cabin. Okay, oh, that's not, not that one. Robot. Hmm. There's got to be some clue around here about Tyler Preston Griffin. says the grunts are totally worth it. That's exactly what you said a couple streams ago. <laughs> you were like, "Oh, worth it, worth it." Totally worth it did it. That officially is the last of these damn things I ever do. Is she also voiced by Tara Strong? I don't know. Tara Strong has a nice... Yeah, you're right. She, like, she, she likes her, her wiggle. That was always a like a weird, a weird thing with like Tara Strong because I always expect like voice actors and voice actresses to be not that attractive because usually they go into like just full on acting if they they've got like the physical presence yeah, yeah. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. but like tara strong is like very attractive especially yeah, when she is. was uh, doing a lot of her roles oh yeah which is just a very uh a break of the common trend a subversion of our expectations so to speak <laughs> and I'm sipping my wine, feeling like a, like a media literate, prison. Uh, media literacy, you know. Mathemes. Why, yes, Officer Cash. I'm just talking to my lawyer. <laughs> get out, get out, get out. Calm down, Eddie. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to steal all your money and destroy everything you've built here. Okay. No. <laughs> you created the droid factory for episode two. <laughs> Machines making machines. <laughs> All right. So, do you want to do? Want to stop after this fight, or what do you think? Oh, uh, yeah, we, we can stop after this fight. All right. Sounds good. I also noticed that in uh, shows for for kids back in the day, it was always it was always robots they fought because there's no moral. Like, there's no moral weight to killing a robot. Or no law against the robots, Batman. 
There's no law against the robots, Batman. I got a little I got a little android, Batman. Are you dead? No. I mean, why? That's an outrageous failed front. Well, like she could have just stayed quiet and got him to believe that she was that he she was dead. <laughs> yeah, but she wanted to take the piss out of him, so kind of <laughs> worth it. <laughs> There's no laws against the clankers, Batman. Jagzibo, he says, thoughts on Godzilla x Kong before we go? What kind of fan fiction is that? Oh, um, that's one of the new films, I think. And then Godzilla sauntered. Is that there's Godzilla Kong. versus Kong, and I think now it's the Godzilla x Kong, which is, is and weird. Kong said, and Kong purrs his, his supple lips and said, ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> Neuron activate meme. <laughs> that we've, that we've fucking Kong. Neuron activation. Oh, Tyler Preston says it's a team up movie. They team yeah. Up? They team up against what? I don't know. Other monsters, I guess. I guess. I'm not big on like monster movies and Godzilla movies and crap. I, I like Monsters vs. Aliens though. That was a funny movie. Yeah. Have you seen Monsters vs. Aliens? Yeah, I, of course I have. It's a great movie. It's really funny. What, what, what's she called? Ginormica or whatever? Ginor yeah, Ginormica. She grows ginormous. And she became the awakening for many young boys the day it came out in the theaters. <laughs> That's a fetish, definitely. <laughs> I'm surprised the guy left her, to be honest. I'm surprised he's not into that. <laughs> oh, man. So, um, maybe it's like the, the fact that he would be fucking... His piece penis would never be able to pleasure her again. <laughs> It's just, okay, that's what you think of, okay. I was thinking, like, every time I see something online to do with giants, it always has to do with thinking getting eaten is hot for some reason. Wait, what? I don't know why. I don't know, dude. Like, freaking degenerates on online, you know? <laughs> Wait, so, so you, you, I go to, like, his penis being fucking small in comparison, and you go to... Genera hentai. <laughs> Sorry, and, and you somehow mine was the more surprising one. <laughs> this was a more conservative Catholic one. Oh gosh, Jigs and he says Godzilla did a breast enhancement and a waist reduction. Yeah, that was that was the best arc of the anime. Godzilla and Kong fight an evil Ice Godzilla and evil Kong. They fight evil versions of themselves in this movie. So was it a good movie? Was it good? I don't know. I don't know. I've never seen it. Me neither. Revenge is a dish best served by an expert, consummate in its idea. Oh my gosh, he's a redditor. Here. <laughs> well, that's that's the joke that happened with. Um... Well, the Batman is the yeah. He, be he became a redditor. <laughs> Jackson Voheez, he says everyone has their kink eerie. I don't. I don't believe for a minute that you and Shiny are pure. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I know how not pure eerie is. <laughs> oh, wow, really gonna oust me like that? Well, I'm not wow, saying shiny. any specifics. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but I'm just saying that, you know, w when you, you think of your stereotypical Christian girl being very sexually repressed, um, <laughs> you know, if the shoe fits, I'm just saying. If the shoe fits. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Uh, you guys are the worst. What do you, what do you, how, how are we the worst? 
is ganging up on some poor little old woman on the internet. What do you mean old? I'm older than you. <laughs> uh, by only well, older by a couple months. Sure. It's barely old. What did what experience did you gain in the you, you really going to say what more experience do I have over you? Because oh, apparently it's a lot. That you were alive. No, the, what, well, what, ex what more experience did you gain in the four months that you were alive longer than me? Oh, apparently a lot, because <laughs> <laughs> you don't know anything. <laughs> Damn, what were, those, what were you doing those four months? <laughs> oh, gosh. Didn't know what the fucking Berlin Wall was. <laughs> I don't live in Europe. I don't need to know what no fucking Berlin Wall was. You probably I'll thought it was like know. some uh, like, like restaurant. <laughs> Berlin Wall. Oh, that's my favorite burger joint. <laughs> Does that have something to do with the Great Wall of China? <laughs> Ch China, China. Oh, we don't like China. We don't like the Berlin Wall. We don't like. Berlin. Sounds like communism. All right, you ready to wrap it up? Yeah, I'm ready to wrap it up. I'm just I'm ready to stare at Harley Quinn for a little bit. <laughs> uh huh. Just just a little while, you know. Just just. To I do thought that. you didn't like this version of the Har of Harley Quinn. What do you mean? What do you mean? I, I've never said I didn't like this version of Harley Quinn. This is the best version of Harley Quinn. Oh yeah, absolutely. Because she's not the flanderized one. My brother in Christ. What look, 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 at, look at those details. Look, they've got the stitching in there and everything. The fabric. What are you, you, you doing? Zoom, you, you can zoom in real close. I'm not doing anything. I'm, I'm just saying. You, you look, look at this uh -huh. amazing detail on oh, this. Very amazing detail. Look, look at uh -huh. that fabric. Wow. It's, it's like there's so much detail here. <laughs> look at that. That's so amazing. Look, look at that. Look at, the, wow. uh, look at those normal maps. You couldn't um, you couldn't even notice that the puffballs aren't even puffy. They're just Yeah, the, the, the puffballs are bad. a bit shit. I'll, I'll admit there. But the fabric itself, I think the fabric's like brilliant. Uh-huh. Especially the, the stitching patterns. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the cre the creases in there as, as well are definitely like fantastic. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. Uh, yeah. Uh, look, it, it's my birthday, okay? I, I get to be a little, a little freedom here. Uh huh. Let's let's take a look at the Nightwing costume now. How about that? How about that? Let's look at the Nightwing. Let's look at those details. Okay, we'll look at look, look at Nightwing. There we go. Yes, very nice. Pan down, damn it. <laughs> yes, very nice details. Very disappointing. You you, you can tell they didn't put as much effort into this one. I am very disappointed. I mean, the Metal Gear Solid Snake. He had so much better. Oh my gosh. But, like, why did they put so much more effort into, into Harley Quinn's design than Nightwing's? Like, with this, it feels like they really fucking went all out with, like, the, the everything part. And then Nightwing's just a bit shit. <laughs> like, look, look at this. They weren't that interested. I have to, just, wait, Shiny, you have to dress as Nightwing or Robin from the Adam West show. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, that oh, oh okay. So, well, Eerie for, oh, no, sorry, I didn't read the whole thing. Eerie, for Shiny's birthday, get a Harley, uh, Harley cosplay outfit to show off, purely for craft appreciation, of course. I'm oh. not against that. Uh, also, and Shiny, you have to dress <laughs> okay. as Nightwing or Robin from the Adam West show. I'm not against that either. Uh, of course, that shows off a lot of uh, leg and... <laughs> What's between the legs? <laughs> oh gosh! This they lie, really like didn't put any effort into this one. Like, look, look. They, what, they, why do the muscles disappear the closer you get? That's not fair. Oh, they, they, they gave him a bit more of an ass, a little bit more. That's nicer. Yeah, but like, why do the muscles? Why do look at the abs? They disappear the closer you get. Why? I think it's the it's the reflections. Uh, like as the perspective changes, the reflection changes. Yeah, I guess. I guess. I'm just making excuses here. They could have defined it a little bit more. I I expect a little more love to be put in the craft here. Needs Come more on, definition. Right? Was it any any of these have? 
What about 1970s Batman? I want to see bat nipples. Does, or is there bat nipples Batman? Oh, I I, I kind of like this one. This is kind of nice. I kind of, kind of, it's cool. It's very bright, brightly colored. Well, it's because it's, it's the know. TV show one. Yeah, I don't think I am the knight. I think of I am in a cartoon. Batman Returns, Batman Anime, Batman 2008 movie, Batman... Batman Anime, what? Hey. Alright, we'll, we'll look at Batman Anime. Oh, is this from Batman Samurai? I don't know. This is Batman Samurai. There was an anime? It's kind of cool. What, yeah, uh, he... I don't think it's from the Batman anime film. He's very I know stocky. that's a thing. Like He, he looks very, very stocky. The 2008... Like very... oh. Oh, I'm not wearing. Oh, oh, fuck no! I pressed the wrong button. Damn it! Back down. Load it. Load it. Load it. Load it. Load it. Load it. I'm not wearing hockey pants. <laughs> hockey pants? I'm, I'm gargling marbles. It is <laughs> what, he, what he says in the, the film. There's there's some um, Batman knockoffs. They're trying to copy him, and they say, "What's the difference between you and me?" I'm not wearing hockey pants. That's a real line. That's a real line. Oh I always God. thought he, he was like, "I'm not wearing hockey pants," <laughs> but no, it's pants. Oh. I'm not wearing hockey pants. Where's the Where's the bat nipples? I I'm trying bat to find. Nipples. I think it's this one. What made them decide on bat nipples? No, this one doesn't have. Wait, I, wait, I think this is the one, but it doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't have bat nips. Why? Yeah, no, I don't think any of these have bat nips. I, th I think you're. Uh, I think you're fucked. I'm disappointed. I am very disappointed. You. And it's hard to look at Batman's ass because he's in the behind crack. a cape. We have to find a Batman that doesn't have a cape. Let's look at Batman's ass. That's a very he's very flat in that department. Very disappointing. Very disappointed. Also, I, 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 want to, I want to take my time to say that I fucking hate the Batman Beyond suit in this. I it think is it's very disgusting. Busy. It's very noisy and I don't like it. I think the yeah. Batman Beyond skin's very difficult to make because it, it, it doesn't really make any sense. Um it doesn't. Like to, because you can see his ma in the cartoon, you can see his mouth, even though, um, like he's wearing a mask. Yeah, that just looks like he has like a ginormous Joker smile. Like you can, s like this. This looks like glass. That's kind of like it's covering it, so it looks black, but you can still see his face underneath it. Uh, some kind of glass or some kind of mesh. Okay, so any any other characters to look at? I, I don't, I'll go to the my better gameplay, and maybe I'll have some more showcase. Who who do I have? I have Red Hood. Red Hood. Jill Hunting identity of Jason Todd. I like guns. That's Mr. all. That's I all like Jason guns. Is. I like guns. I'm, I'm different. <laughs> Family. Family. Wealthy family. citizens. Cult member. Uh, Jack Ryder. Hush. Nora. That, that's it. Nora really, it's all I've unlocked. I would have thought I got more. Why is she, like, at an angle? I think she's just in a pose. Oh, I see. Obviously, she's very uh, moderate and no, no big tits or cleavage or, or ass. She's Christian. She's a good Christian girl. She's Christian, leave her alone. Mr. Freeze. Mr. Freeze is a cool villain. Yeah. Oh, he can open the hatch? Batman. Yep. And he doesn't die? 
Well, he's got the suit to cool him down. I guess that just makes him more comfortable. I gotcha. I don't really have that much unlocked, I guess. Oh, apart from the Militia APC. Oh, this is, this is a pretty sexy APC, actually. It's like a tank. Oh, you can look inside it? Yeah, it's got a modeled interior. That's so cool. That's a lot of detail. What else? Uh, Arkham Knight gunship. Uh, a, a, a truck? I thought this was a door. It's a truck. It's a garbage truck. That's that's it. That's all I've got. Oh, there's some more skins that I've got for Batman, which is like point eight eight suit, and that's it. Yeah, the unlockable content for this is kind of disappointing. But uh, disappointed. We got the tumbler and from the two thousand eight film. I never really liked the tumbler, to be honest. No, I know a lot. Of, a lot of people have it as their favorite bat vehicle. There's not really any Batmobiles that I I think of the best. Like it's it's always it's a it's a thing that's cool in concept, but I've never seen a design for the Batmobile that I I truly thought was like yes, this is awesome. Yeah. Like I, I don't know the 1960s. Like, this is gonna be a hot take, but the 1960s uh, Batmobile I I think is a bit boring. I think it's a bit lame. What? I think it's cool. Like that red detailing? Come on now. That's cool. Commissioner Gordon. It's got it's got the original Batman and Robin. Oh why, my gosh. Why didn't they have the original thing. Batman skin? They have it in the game, but they don't allow you to use it for some reason. That's pathetic. The 1960s one? Okay, this one I like. I think I my favorite one's so from dark. the. My favorite one's from the Batman uh, cartoon. Like the, the the sort of sports mobile rather than the. Hmm. I don't know whatever the fuck these are supposed to be. The the Batman w was a really techy Batman. Like he had all kinds of gadgets. He had a bat phone. All kinds of crazy tech. He had like a bat. Yeah, <laughs> he had a bat like um, mech suit to mech fight suit? Bane. Yeah, he had like a bat <laughs> mech suit. Didn't know he was a Gundam fan from Japan. Oh, oh, oh! oh. I, I remember now. Uh, something they've got in this uh, in the AR challenges. Sorry, it's going to make the stream a little bit longer. They have um, what was it? Entire maps. That are designed after like the original Batman. I'll pull it up, or even just uh, like specific Batman, um, like films and stuff and TV shows. So th this oh. is one of them. Oh, <laughs> this is cool. I hope there's <laughs> not a copyright on this music. Batman. <laughs> oh shit! Is it oh. That one? Yeah. You can hear it in the background. Yeah, I can hear it. Batman. Oh, jeez. Batman. Yeah, I completely missed that. Ah, oh. fuck. Oh, fuck. I can't reverse. I can't reverse. Shit, I've lost so much time with that one. I fucked up that. You got this. You got this. You got this. Da, da, da. This is like Mario Kart, but cool. It's like b oh, back car. Back car. I, I would play that. I would play a Batman oh, Mario Kart. <laughs> Shit. Yeah. I don't think I'm gonna make it. I don't think. Oh fuck! No, I I fucked that up. I fucked that one up. Oh, I got God. two stars in it, though. I want to see if I can get three stars. Let's retry. Can I do this without fucking it up? Without lag this time, hopefully. 
Well, I think it's, it's not lagging on my end. It's like not latency lag. Like. My end either. It, it's like the the stream itself is. Oh. It's kind of like cool this. This game plays though. incredibly smoothly on my computer. Fuck! Fuck! Damn it! I still hit him. Jumping from boat to boat, and then in a cave. Hell yeah! Batman. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, get yeah. firmly grasped it. Now firmly grasp it. Firmly grasp it. Firmly grasp it. Firmly grasp it. Firmly hey, grasp it. In the chat. Let's go. Right. Firmly. Oh shit. Oh, I missed him. Good. You almost there, you almost there, you almost there, you almost there. Come on. Yes! Three stars! That is satisfying. That was really cool. I don't know why the frame rate is weird. It's, it's, not, it's not weird on my end. It's not weird on Eerie's end. It's probably just a uh, YouTube upload thing. Yeah, I think it's YouTube. It's, it's weird how, like... The system works because, like, it will be completely fine there, completely fine on StreamYards, but then YouTube will be like, oh, it's just gonna fuck it up for some reason. Yeah, okay, let's just, just do one more. No, yeah, no, 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 no. Don't go to my fucking Steam, please. All right, uh, return to menu. Glib says that means it's your upload settings. Internet, internet up bit rate. Do you have but any it's... idea what you're talking about? Well, it, it's StreamYard, so it deals with all of that for me. I can't exactly control its settings. Ooh. Well, we're encroaching upon three hours and 30 minutes. I, 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 you can do this map in like a, a minute. So let's try to do this. Okay, One more okay. Go. I don't know if I said we were going to be done like 26 minutes ago. But... I don't know. I'm already too thrilled by this. Just one more Jackson. Just one more Jackson. Oh, we're in the Wild West now. Oh shit. There's no way around this. Sorry, dude. I love how they play the original Batman theme song. Well, everything's like a, a, a was it a reference? Like that's them climbing up the the buildings that they always do. Yeah. And then they'll have that random celebrity that'll pop his head out of the window. <laughs> oh, it's the Harlem Globetrotters! Uh, the Harlem good Globetrotters. see you, sir. I don't what know, I'm just thinking of random Har Harlem Globetrotters. I don't bloody know. I just know they like to appear in Scooby Doo all the fucking time. I used to think they were they fictional characters. I thought they were fictional characters. What? I used to think the Harlem Globetrotters were fictional characters because oh all they ever God. did was appear in Scooby Doo. That would make sense. Oh my gosh! It says the invite link is not appearing in the chat. Hang on, one hot second. It, are you are you modded in the chat? Modded in the chat. I don't know. Damn it! All right, let's let's tap out. All right. I'm gonna share. Okay, it's YouTube. Chat real fast. All right, you put uh, say something in chat, uh, and then I'll, I'll I'll see if I can catch it, and that will mean I can make you a mod. Okay. Um, I'm gonna type a little doodly bit. I don't know why my Wi-Fi is so damn slow. Hang on, but the chat is not appearing yet. What do you mean the chat's not appearing yet? Should you just appear straight away? It's not. It's waiting. I don't know why it's taking so long. I am on our stream on you. Oh, here we go. I just okay, just, just put anything in chat and I can make you a moderator and then you can put the link in. Okay, I'm going to go to the... Blah, blah, blah. All right, make me a mod. You do it. You don't appear in chat for some reason. Am oh, I wait, there? You, wait, you that's weird. I can see you in old chat, but not. I, I'll add you as moderator, managing moderator. There you go. Eerie the Ghost oh, is now managing moderator for some reason. Like, why is why is your oh, it might have been blocked because you just put in nonsense. It might have thought you were spamming. I don't know. 
Oh, probably. Okay, here is... I am now moderator. Cool. Okay. There so you go. There I, 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 can, I can see that in top chat. Appreciate it, Shiny. And there is my Discord. So if you want to join, hop on over. All right. Ready to close out the stream, Shiny? Yes. All right. Thank you, Best Chat, for always being Best Chat. Uh, thank you, everyone, for donating to the Super Chat. And we will see you again next time. Momento Mori, my friends. I, I'm, I'm double checking just to make sure no one sent me anything through Streamlabs. Just, just to make sure. Okay, okay. All right. Don't make me agree to some stuff. Okay, no, no one said anything to stream lots. Okay, that's fine. All right, well, goodbye, everyone. Okay, bye-bye. And thank you to everyone that wished me a happy birthday in two days.